ain't rolling. In five, four, three, two. What up? What up? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to yet another episode of the most tantalizing, controversial, truth telling, toxic, accountable. I'm using all my TI words today. Podcast in the world, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Ugly Money Podcast. Trigger alert in my live studio audience. Make some noise. This episode is being brought to you by Engorge Rejuvenation Tea, promoting erections, improving stamina, size, endurance, and libido. Make sure you go to engorge.com to get yours today. That's E N G O R G. Whenever you want to give her that pressure, whenever you want her to call back, whenever you want her to walk out that house, Knees buckled. Get you some Engorge Rejuvenation Tea, all natural male supplement. I used it one time, the last time I had sex last year in 2021, and it did wonders for me so much that I haven't had sex since. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, We have an amazing, amazing show for you today. I know the chat is ready to go. Y'all been waiting on us. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. a lot of updates in the world, a lot of updates in Trigger Alert. I think our last episode did a couple of million views. So thank you all, man. In the meantime, between time, go ahead and hit that like button because that's what we need to make this car run, baby. Go on, match the like button. We are not going to charge your credit card. It's free of charge. Just hit the like button. Don't be a hate all your life. And show us some support, man. Go and share that thing. Hit that like button because we going we gonna to get triggered today. We got a whole bunch of topics, we got a whole bunch of beautiful ladies, and we got a whole bunch of things that we need to talk about. And um, speaking on things to talk about, Biz, what's going on, brother? Well, not yet, not yet, but uh, YNW Melly's trial is looking very nice. It's looking, you gotta turn me up, turn me up, turn me up. Yeah, it's looking like it's a vibe. It's looking like it's a vibe right now for him anyway. So far, you know, everybody was feeling like when the trial first started that, you know, he was down bad, but you know, mm-hmm. as the trial goes on, it's looking more, you know, uh, convincing he might be able to come on. Yeah, they um the they were trying to motion for a mistrial early on, but the judge denied the mistrial. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that was probably going. You know, I don't, I, that was probably a move for the appeal. That way, you know, even if he loses. You know what I'm saying? On those grounds, he'll have a pretty good chance to come back. Now, Biz, field. I'm not the you biggest smoker in the world, but are, is the is the tray supposed to be smoking while you're rolling up? Uh, yeah, we had an accident. Okay, over here, okay. But it's all good. It's all good. Hey, I just vape. It's all good. I just vape. That's out all, to hey, Excel City. It's all good. It's okay, all good. I'm just making sure. I just you know I just making sure that nothing was going going to go, go bad. But uh, so you think that Melly has uh, a chance of getting beating us? Um. At first, like I said, I didn't feel, I, I was kind of more like, you know, he fried. But as I watched the trial, bro, just being honest, it's looking better for him. I think a lot of people, they still uh, haven't been able to place him and to the scene and I guess the murder weapon also. So, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. You know, rest in peace to Sack, rest in peace to Juvie. It's an unfortunate incident. You know what I'm saying? Free Melly. I don't know who did what and what, but... um. He been sitting for a while, and it's about to come to an end now, man. It's almost about that time. Already, man. So uh, anybody that likes the like button, anybody that matches the like button, please make a comment. We will shout you out, man. We show love on this podcast. Now, Super Chats are always, always, always appreciated. But a comment is a comment, and we appreciate it. So shouts out. I'm going to go into the comments right quick. Curtis Baldwin, what's up, my brother? Milan says, the best up-and-coming podcast ever. Thank you, my friend. Salute to you, Milan. We appreciate that love. Bro. We appreciate that love. Yeah, we 90 days in, right? Yeah. yeah. It's got to be some kind of record. A little bit over 90 days. Probably like, yeah, yeah, 90 good. For a three-month podcast, I think we got the most views in the history of three-month podcasts. You know what, brother? Pop it. If, if that's how, hey, hey, hey. Joe hey, Button, not me. Hey. <laughs> Shouts out, Joe Button. Hey, respect to everybody doing their thing. We appreciate the love. We out here, though. I'm going down. Uh, Sh- Ralphie S., shouts out for uh, Hello from Nuts- N- Knoxville, Tennessee. <laughs> Uh, Curtis Baldwin is already with the with the with the questions. Do you love Buster Rhymes or Nicki Minaj? I'm not exactly sure what that means, but uh, <laughs> shouts out to the Flipmo Squad. Uh, Mark Hargay, Har- Har- Hargay, Hargay, Don Dada from Savannah. What's up, Savannah? Seaport, what it do? 
Uh, Hundo Javi. What's up, my brother? Cleveland, Ohio is in the building. Yes, sir. Says Free Melly. Ohio, what they Cleveland, do? Cleveland, Cleveland in the building. My brother, my brother, Mr. Old School Rider is yes. always in the building, man. We taking yes. off, man. Jay, Javon Nickelberry, good vibes on the show. Salute, my brother. Yeah, yeah man, yeah, man. Hundo Javi says the best podcast I've seen thus far. I mean, we try, my brother. The biggest. Y'all appreciate go ahead. that love. Appreciate that love. Y'all go ahead and mash that like button. Mash that like button, man. Let's get this thing popping. Let's get this thing popping. All right, so before we get into the first the first topic of the evening, uh, f- first and foremost, shout outs to BU Clothing, official clothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Official clothing. clothing sponsor Ooh. of Trigger Alert. BU in the, in the audience, as always, appreciate y'all so much for the wardrobe yeah. and the merch every time. BU Clothing on Instagram if you're looking for it. BU Clothing on Instagram if you're looking. Yeah, you be you. I'm going to be me because that's the way God intended and everything going to work out right. Make sure you follow him at BU Official Clothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got my BU on. Hey, Biz, I'm in a 3X. Get in there, sir. It's starting to feel a little loose. Yeah, get in there, you know, sir. I was a 4X shorty like I ain't gonna 90 lie. days ago. I ain't going to lie. Now uh, 3X, that, that, loose that 3X. That white and black, that white and black, that white and black, BU, I like that, hey, sir. Bro. Sir, a large me, please. When I when I get to when I get to 2X, they ain't going to be able to tell me nothing. I'm going to start taking my shirt off oh, and wear God, tight hey, clothes, hey, leather. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? relax, <laughs> though. You got to relax. We I went proud to a pool. of your growth, though. I went to a pool party this past weekend with a little scrappy. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Had oh, to, yeah, had, you was throwing people in the pool. Look had, at you. Had the money gut out, you know what I'm saying? You just Go- hanging and swinging. Gucci jacket out, money <laughs> belly out, <laughs> lobster, shrimp, steak. Yeah, but come on, man. Yeah, I'm hanging the out. The big way, the big way. I'm hanging out. Congratulations, sir. Keep on your everybody. Health is wealth, man. There's nothing wrong with getting in that gym, bro. Got in there, committed. I think you, what, 32, 34 down now? Yeah, you know 34 what I'm saying? Down, so just, down. hey, man, get in there. There's nothing wrong with doing that. I love to see what you're doing, sir. Day 82 as of today. Day 80, 82. And you know, the funny thing about that was the first day that I went to the gym, I could not walk a quarter of a mile without stopping. Yeah. So now I can run. No, no, for sure, for I sure, run a, for I sure, for I sure. I can run a couple of miles, yes. but you know well, you I get that quarter. I can get I can a do a quarter. Yeah. I'm good for a quarter. Well, I'm good for a mile yeah. now. Yeah, get in there, sir. You know, I'm playing enough. basketball with the young niggas and shit. You know, like, what are we do what we do. <laughs> All right, man. So we have a beautiful, and I mean, when I say beautiful, it's really an understatement. We have a gorgeous cast today. <laughs> um, I, I hate to argue with them because they are so gorgeous, and normally y'all simps would just let them get away with anything they would say because they're so pretty. But uh, I'm to my left, if y'all could introduce yourselves, let them know what to follow you at, let them know what's going on, that what you got going on, and please don't be humble. By all means, Miss Queen, go ahead and start. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Eve Smith. I am the new up-and-coming number one director outside, okay? And I'm a retired military, and I do a lot of things. I'm an artist manager. I'm a producer. i basically a jack of all trades. Yes, yes. Where they follow you at? Oh, you can follow me at EVE Smith 718. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Shout out to Miss Smith. Shouts out to our soldiers and thank you for your your, your service, Queen. And thank you for your service, Queen. What, what, what was your what was your MOS? Eighty eight November, ninety two Mike, ninety two Golf, forty two Alpha. Ninety two Golf. I know that that's supply, yeah. right? No, I got that wrong. Y'all Cook, lost me. I'm a chef. It sounds like it sounds like ninety two Golf. What was that? Cook. Yep. Oh, my boy Ruger was a cook. Shouts out to Ruger. Shout, Shout out, out to the Ruger. cook. I knew, oh I, I, knew, I, knew. I knew. I knew. I've heard that memo West before. All right, and moving down. Go ahead, Queen. What's up, everybody? It's Empress Mimi, uh, 216 in the building. Cleveland, <laughs> what they do, Cleveland. Yo, uh, I'm an upcoming artist. And, uh, you can follow me on uh, official Empress Mimi underscore. There it is. That's M I M I. We got any singles dropping soon or something? What yes, we got out? sir. <laughs> um, the album dropping on July 23rd. So. <laughs> man, tap in, man. Big Mimi got <laughs> Empress. <laughs> yes, and to your left, to my f- right, uh, yes, young lady right there. Hey, y'all. My name is Pressure, and I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina, and I do a little bit of everything, too. Like, I dance, I make music, I sell outfits for the dancers. Um, I'm just traveling right now, just looking for the next big thing. <laughs> I like that. I'm outside. And she said she outside. Yes, outside for real. You can find my Instagram. You can find my music on all platforms. Pressure, P R E S H R, 
capitalized, spelled out on Instagram. There it is. There it is. I like the part where she said she's looking for the next big thing. The next big thing. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. It's your boy Biz. Just chill. Yes, one sir. half a trigger alert. Like I say, we just had 1.4 million views on the last episode. I yeah. want to thank everybody that's been tapping in. We appreciate the support. We appreciate the support. You did. And Miss Michelle. Last but not least, um, my name is Michelle Bombshell. Uh, I am actually a makeup artist. I have my cosmetics. This is my business right here, Beauty by Michelle. That's the website. Yeah. It's M I C H E L. That's my Instagram, Bombshell, Michelle Bombshell. So, yeah. There it is. A bunch of professional, I'm do my professional makeup. ladies. I need you to Okay, yeah. All right, my name, my name, <laughs> my name, Pooh Bear. You can follow me on hey, OnlyFans Pooh at Pooh Bear. Hey, Pooh Bear. That's Pooh Bear without an R. You know what I'm saying? You can follow me on OnlyFans. You, I got a uh, Tasty Blacks, uh, Pornhub.com, plus size porn star and stripper. Ooh. I wear a red shirt with no pants. And she already triggered. See, I already got to meet oh, her dang. mic. <laughs> All right, man. So, uh, we're going to go, we're going to read the comments right quick. And then we're going to get into the topic. I told everybody, if you're liking the video and commenting, we definitely going to rock with you. All right, so uh, Javon Nickelberry is in the building. Says good vibes on the show, my boy. Salute. Curtis Baldwin says, Trinity them girl. Drop them cities. Let us know where y'all locked in at. Drop them cities. Yeah, drop them cities, man. Shakaya Thompson says, hey, I love y'all. Oh, thank you. Shout out Shakaya. Blue Boy 062 said, this that ugly money. Yeah, 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 ugly money. <laughs> ja HF says, ooh, I need that BU shirt. Hey, yeah, yeah, get in there. Yeah, BU. Hondo Javi says, I'm definitely copping some BU merch. All right. Oh, making moves in the community, sir. Cleveland, yeah, Cleveland stand up. Okay. Cleveland. 412 in the building. And uh, Ja What's says, a 412? For, what is 412? I don't know. North Carolina in the building. He says, yeah, I fuck with it. North Carolina in the building. Okay, you got some Carolina people checking in with Carolina you. Carolina standing, standing man from Raleigh in the building all the Seti time. Seti says Birmingham is in the building. Shouts out Birmingham. Shouts out everybody. Man, Birmingham, what they do. All over the country, all over the globe. Man, we are trigger alert. So um, I guess we can start with. Can I get a drink? You can get whatever you want. So uh, yes, our, let's our start official, with yeah. Let's start with our, the drink. Our official vodka sponsor yes, of the yes, day. Yes, yes, yes. Our official vodka sponsor of the day is Chosen Vodka. They have the pineapple, we have the vanilla, and we have the regular. I guess it's the regular. Is it regular? Would you call it? Yeah. So the regular pineapple and vanilla. So y'all, y'all can check that out. Now I will tell you the pineapple. You, you don't even need to chase it. We don't need to chase it with none of that, but it's definitely full of flavor. Black owned, chosen vodka, the vodka for the chosen, and official vodka sponsor of the Ugly Money Podcast, Trigger Alert for the night. And shouts out my brother, Chosen. They out of Chicago, and we pulling up. All right, so we're going to get into these first. We're going to get into these first little topics. Mm, 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 mm. Ladies, true or false, women cheat up and men cheat down. And we'll start with Michelle. <laughs> true. I mean, I don't cheat at all. But, I mean, if we're talking about the other people, I think that's true. <laughs> accusations. These are not accusations. This is false accusations. Oh, you say you don't cheat? I don't cheat. Okay. I leave accusations. These are not accusations. This is false. Okay, okay, cool, cool. So you saying that, so basically if a woman was to cheat, she going to cheat with something better. I think so. I think so. And we cheat on something worse. Absolutely. big time. We downgrade. Yeah, yeah, you look yeah, like you triggered over there. Go ahead, Miss Eve. Like go, ahead, Miss Eve. Go, ahead, Miss Eve. go ahead, Miss Eve. Go ahead, go ahead. Yes, y'all downgrade. Y'all can have a banging ass female holding shit down, and once y'all see a chick shaking that ass, y'all quick to go in. <laughs> shaking that ass. Yes. And no offense to girls that shake their ass. I'm not we saying just, that, but we I'm just, just saying that they can have somebody here. at home <laughs> doing what they do, handling everything, everything, and they'll still go in. Fuck with some random. <laughs> <laughs> it's the facts. The facts. So is it a, is it a downgrade f by whose standards? 
Because if I think she upgraded, then is it really a downgrade? Well, if you upgrade, downgrade, if you upgrade, I'm giving you your props. Okay. So if I if I pull a Jade away, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna be mad at me. Nah. Okay, cool. cool. I'm, like, All right, bro. I'm coming for you, Oprah. I'm coming for you, Oprah. <laughs> same question, same question, same question, Empress. Um, I feel like <laughs> I don't know. Like I can't speak for other women, but like I know, like. I'm a flirt, so <laughs> I that feel you like are. real shit, like all women cheat and all women, women are more sneakier and that's just coming from a real bitch perspective. Like, I like it, I like it. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't never had a bitch around me that wasn't, that didn't have a main nigga and, and still talking to a side, so. I'm right here. Real I'm shit. sorry, say that again, we didn't hear you. I'm One right more here. time, please. <laughs> Bitches have main niggas and then having, having sides, that's that backup, we got mm, backup. Keep a backup. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's what's up. So Empress, that's that was her input um on the situation right there. Uh pressure, let me hear what you got to say. But what do you really mean like cheat up and cheat down? Like what does that mean? I mean an upgrade. Um I agree with what Empress said, like we are sneakier. Mm. Like y'all men are not it. Mm. Right, facts. Like we really be on that shit. Mm. Mm-hmm. On like, that cheating shit. Y'all messy. It's not even about cheating per se. I feel like you know what I'm saying. Like a bitch just gonna have a nigga for makeup, a nigga for uh, uh for food, a nigga for oh, sex. We, here oh, here we go with a this. Nigga, oh, I remember sex. this conversation bitch, right here. A bitch, a bitch gonna have a nigga for a ride. Like we, you know what I'm saying. And and, 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 and we and our, and our eyes, we don't call it cheating because like our heart is still with the main nigga. The main. But right, you know right, what I'm right, saying. Right, like right, right. a bitch gonna always, especially if you're a pretty bitch, don't ever feel like you are gonna have a pretty bitch. And you know what I'm saying. And she she ain't gonna, gonna have, have several a, a, exactly, right, exactly. Right, and like I'm right, the type right. like I can, I'm pretty as fuck, but I'm still gonna. You get what I'm saying. Real shit. No. Nah. Still gonna cheat like a I'm motherfucker. A flirt, no, it's not even about cheating. Like I can I can have a nigga and I can have I can have five no. sides and I can, you know what I'm saying? I won't have sex with them, but I'm still entertaining them, still talking to them and shit like that. But in our eyes, we won't call it cheating and shit. Exactly. We call that cheating and hoe activity. But, let me get in there for a minute. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me let me let me get a little piece of this. Let me let me get let me get a little piece of this, man. Okay. Go ahead, Biz Cook. Hold on, let, like five let, days cut up mic one second again. Like cut up mic. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, bitch, cook. Ain't no way right now that you gonna sit here and tell me it's okay for you to have five side niggas and I'm supposed to respect your if mind. You got it. life fucked up. Mind. If you living like that right there, I don't care how cool you think you are. That's whole activity. You can swear up and down. Well, I'm not talking to five. Ma'am, having five side niggas is crazy in America right now. So respectfully, that's, you know what I mean? That's Dead. Ain't Let's no nigga going for that. Let's, Let's not, not talk about the women Ooh. y'all be with. The, the 25, 35, 105 women y'all be with. So <laughs> I understand. Let's ask uh let who who we ask everybody on that. Yeah, so Biz, what do you think? Do you think men cheat up? I mean women cheat up and men cheat down? I think women cheat more and better, just on an overall natural. You say standard. women cheat more. They cheat more and better. I don't know if it's up or down, but I feel like shit. They, all the women just pretty much said they're more sneaky and a little bit more I didn't calculated. Say that. I, I, not all the women, excuse me, Eve. Let me not put you in that mix. And the fact that she didn't say that, it shows how sneaky she is. <laughs> he did in America. But, you know, I feel like women, um, when it comes to cheating, they're way superior and they. You know what I mean? That's their lane all the way to the T. Like she say, niggas is more messy. Nigga won't put that type of thought in it. Uh, women are planning that shit out two and a half months ahead, a trip with the girls and all type of shit. So it's just different. I believe that. I don't know if they up or down, but they damn sure do it more and better. I just feel like, is it really I feel like it take a lot to make a woman happy and unless you a damn billionaire. Unless you a damn billionaire, like, I'm going to always have me a nigga or two on the side. You know what I'm saying? Like, what if unless I don't... Unless I'm a billionaire, unless, you going to always if, have a nigga or two? You. Is that what I'm, you I'm just actually, said? I'm actually helping unless you. Unless I'm a billionaire, listen, listen, you will listen. always have will, a nigga I'm, or two? I'm actually helping you because I don't want to spend all your money. You'll never meet a billionaire, so you will always have a nigga or two, man. Well, how about you get your own goddamn money? Hold on, goddamn it. I don't have this shit to the See, that's what I'm talking about. Get the damn problem. You want to go 
go to every Tom, Dick, and Harry like it's a goddamn food court and you want to go to all the goddamn stores. You want to get noodles from Panda Express. You want to get hamburgers from goddamn McDonald's. And you want to give Chick-fil-A some chicken. Yeah, you're going to get worms. That's what you're going to get with all them goddamn bodies up under that goddamn cat. And you expect the man to goddamn treat you with respect. You expect a man to treat you with like you his queen. See, that's the bullshit I'm talking about. These girls don't want a nigga for who he is. They want a nigga for what he got. And I can't respect you. So guess what? We got to send them back to the pot, man. God damn it, it trigger. Let I let it go for the long. I let it go. I let it go. Nietzsche, I'ma have to. I'm, I'm Let gonna, it go. I'ma hate to do. I'ma hate to do it too. Go ahead, your baby. Listen, 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 listen. I'ma hate to. I'ma hate. I'ma hate to do it. Too. Even you said earlier at your own mouth. You said. Oh, Don't bitch talk gonna about have that. To, you said about bitch gonna have to choose. Listen, 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 listen. He just said. He said. He said. You said, you you said, you said you out your about. own mouth. You said out your own mouth. You said a bitch gonna have to choose whether she want me to be loyal uh, or she want me to pay her goddamn bills. I didn't say bills. loyal. Listen, one second. I said one a woman second, gotta choose second. between the fact if I'm gonna pay her bills or be, or be faithful. And be faithful. That's sure. it. I'm not doing both. So if you, so if you're not woman enough to take care of your own personal business as an adult, that means you don't deserve to be monogamous. Goddamn, you deserve to be cheated on because you're basic. Okay, you take care of if you can't you take, take care of your own listen. shit by hey. yourself listen, as an listen, adult, listen. that means you listen. deserve hey. to have some help. Goddamn, hey. if you can't take care of your bills hey. and your hair hey. and your nails hey. and your insurance and all that shit, that means that your ass needs to be cheated on. Get in there, sir. Because you not. Right. Get in there, sir. When I'm cooking, I'm cooking. That's a good I'm gonna let it call. Hold on, I'm, I'm done. So you taking it, so take it as if, okay, women, you okay, a bitch wanna be paid to be in a relationship, right? But if you if a bitch is fucking you, if a bitch is sucking you, if a bitch doing this and that to you, you don't think she she desire to get her hair done and you know what I'm saying? Are you like she me gotta the because yeah. that, that, understand this, the bill's gonna get paid regardless. The bill's going to get paid. Regardless. No, they're not. So you think, so you that's, think, that's why you got five niggas. No, they're not. Because if, 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 if the bills is going to get paid regardless, you wouldn't have to. If the bills was getting paid regardless, you wouldn't need five niggas to pay the motherfuckers. You would boss up. You would boss up and go pay the motherfuckers yourself. You wouldn't need five niggas if your bills was getting paid regardless. See, y'all girls got Nate. You just say there's a movie called Set It Off. There's a guy named Nate, right? And then Set It Off. Jada Pinkett Smith, she has a character, and she, she tells Nate that she's in a bind. <laughs> I'm in a bind, <laughs> Nate. And you know, Nate says some other time. <laughs> and you know, Nate wants some kind of reciprocation for his money or whatever. Y'all sound like y'all want to get a Nate, and that's cool. That they, hey, I don't judge you for that. But, can I say but at the end of the day, Queen, if you could handle your own business... That gives you more leverage, and a man okay, that's has to. For all hold the on, women. Queen. That's I, for all the you women. still, you still cute. Trigger. The fact the of the women. matter is, if you handled your own business as a queen and a woman yourself, a man couldn't even come at you with no bullshit know, like that. You know why? Because, no, because, all. because, because of the, the fact of the matter is that if I know that you got that car and you got your own money, you can walk out that door anytime. I'm automatically gonna respect you more. I'm automatically gotta watch what the hell I say. I automatically gotta watch how the hell I treat you. Cause you'll walk out the fucking door if you, if my ass ain't treating you right. But guess what? These goddamn Nate little bitches, they need a look. Little 500 on the first because they about to get put out. You hear me? <laughs> They'll accept some bullshit. Right. And if you accept bullshit, I ain't wrong for giving it to That's you. That's real. Right. Right. The problem, but the problem with 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 with, with, with these with niggas that nowadays. Too much talking is a listen, problem. You need listen, to receive listen, the information. Listen, you the problem with, with these niggas, the problem with y'all niggas nowadays is y'all want to know real spill. Real spill is y'all gay. Real spill go nowadays these niggas is so gay like they mind is emotionally Bruh. attracted to a man and physically attracted Bruh, to a that's woman. Y'all don't even want women. Y'all don't even well niggas don't even like women nowadays. Well, I'm gonna like tell you real what. Shit. Like, <laughs> what? Tell you real shit. Like real shit. So, so, what so if you want to. My hell? office, my office is right next door, and we can see how gay a nigga is after this goddamn show. <laughs> we can see how gay a nigga is. 
see how nigga, we can see how gay a nigga is at the end of this show since we, since we gay because we want you to pay your own bills. Since we gay because we want you to be able to take care of your own self. Since we gay because we want you to be able to take care of your own kids. God damn it, well, well damn. I don't know how your financial situation is 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 responsible for my sexual preference. That sounds like you're triggered. Love you, mommy. And you don't want to do nothing for her. Don't get in a relationship with a woman. A woman is a woman. She, you supposed to nurture and take care of the woman and be nurture. there for a woman, so she can feel protected. A bitch ain't gonna look at you the same if you ain't doing shit for her. Like, what you mean? 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 Like, what you that that pussy that comes stock on every woman in the world, every woman was born with one. How much <laughs> leverage do you think you have with your one little pussy that got Okay, gave I bet you. you take pussy away from the world and see how it is. See how the world is after you take some pussy away. Say, 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 the world gonna be the, the world still gonna be the world with, 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 with women. The world is not gonna be the world no, without without women. We, we don't can live take without. The world away. Listen, it was a survey. Don't they did the a away. scientific survey. They did a scientific survey where they showed that women. They asked women, "How did you? How would you feel if men was to um to uh, lead the world?" They said, I, "We will feel more safer." And they asked what? men, "How how would they be? How would they be? How would y'all feel if women leave the world?" And guess what? They said, oh, I'm not going to be able to leave, live without a woman. Real shit. Y'all niggas know y'all need a pussy, 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 pussy is power, baby. Okay, I got you. Hold on, hold on. No. Only tight pussy is power. <laughs> <laughs> All pussy is power. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you All something. All pussy is power. Is this camera you on can pop a, You 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 Okay, she triggered. Okay, let me tell you something, Miss Empress. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. No, no, let me tell you something, Miss Empress. That, 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 that. Hold on, Queen. Hold on, Queen. You triggered, Miss Empress. That lip gloss on your face. You know who made it? A man. No, baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That airplane that you drove. Hold on, Miss Empress. Hold on. That airplane that you rode to Atlanta in. Do you know who created it? A man. The car that you drive in Cleveland. You know who created that? A man. Hold on, that goddamn, hold on, ma'am, hold on, ma'am, hold on, ma'am. The, 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 the wig, the track that the wig was put on, do you know who created that shit? The China man. A man. So at the end of the day, you would be, at the end of the day, you would be bald head walking. You would be bald head walking without a man. Don't give me that I don't need a man shit. The world would collapse in 30 days without men. Do you want to go over here and fight right. the goddamn war queen? You don't. Trust me, you don't. Do you want to go over here and build these buildings and work 12 hours a day doing hard labor? You don't. Your nails would get fucked up. So don't give me that I don't need a man and the world would be better without a man. That's some bullshit. That's some, we need each other equally. We need each other. E she's, she's triggered. See, she's triggered. So check it out. We need we need each we other equally. Need Qu we need queen, yeah, queen, we need you other. need a man more than anybody else on this panel. Trust and believe by your mentality. We need each other equally because there are things there are things that women bring to the table that we can't do. My weaknesses should be your strengths and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? And there are certain things that me as a man I'm going to overlook that my woman is going to catch. You feel what I'm saying? And there are certain things that I can handle, like moving this heavy ass couch that your little ass don't want to move. You're gonna need a man for that, right? That, that, that ugly man. So we need each other equally. I don't know about this whole I don't need a man shit or whatever. Cause and let you say you what? I'm strong enough to. I, I, listen, I can't even fight women. I need. I, I I have to fight men. So you say you can move the couch by yourself? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, that little fifty nine ninety nine Walmart bullshit you got. Accusation. Yeah. 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 Yeah
no goddamn real furniture, girl. Crazy, we is not crazy. talking about. We is not it's talking about the goddamn twenty nine ninety nine Walmart couch, the motherfucking shit that came in the box. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about. That little simple minded shit. You need a man. Because guess what? You can keep. You can have a one bedroom apartment in the apartments and goddamn with, with a with a ninety six Nissan Sentra. Yes, baby, you can survive on your own. Congratulations, you're an adult. But in order for us to thrive, in order for us to elevate, in order for us to build generational wealth, you gonna need some goddamn help. Yeah, 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 be Woo! Biz, you being too quiet. Hold on, let me bring my mic up. I ain't met a nigga I need yet. I ain't met a nigga I need yet. I'm noticing so. that whatever we explain to Miss Empress, <laughs> she's Don't not gonna... Right, right. Okay. So... I'm going to just, you feel me? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Listen. go ahead, Miss Eve. Yeah, go ahead. Let somebody yeah, else yeah, yeah. talk, let man. Let, let, right let somebody else quick. say something. Okay. Come on, Eve. Yes, women do need men. <laughs> no doubt. Thank okay, you. I grew up, I grew up. Oh, the top. One oh, mic, God. one mic, one mic. One mic. Empress, you, on, I, you I are triggered up, for a minute. Go ahead. I grew up and my grandparents raised me, so I grew up with a man taking care of the household. That's what I know. Okay, and my grandmother made the bread. She made money, but all she had to do was bank it. My grandfather paid all the bills, okay? So me, I'm the type of woman, I pay my bills. I don't need nobody to do anything for me. If a man comes into my life, he's a bonus. Preach. Okay, and I've noticed that a lot of men nowadays don't have their shit together. Mm -hmm. And they expect the female to pick up their pieces. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I don't feel like it's fair, because I feel like if a man is gonna come into a woman's life, he should be stable, exactly. he should be ready to, he should be ready to take care of everything that that woman has, the baggage, whether she has kids. I have three kids. You know what I'm saying? I don't look it, I know. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I just feel like if a man comes into my life, he has to come with more than what I'm providing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I don't need a man to get my nails done. You know what I'm saying? I have dudes send me cash shops. I'm like, what's this for? They're like, oh, just go to lunch. Go get your nails done. I'm like, oh, thank you. You know what I'm saying? And I haven't even seen the dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like I don't need a man. So any female who feels like she needs a man to get her nails done, her hair done, and whatever, whatever, pay a bill or whatever, that, may, that woman don't have her shit together. So right. she don't need to step into a situation with a man and have him do anything for her. That's how I feel. But if the man well, wants to come into a female's life and take care of her knowing that she needs the help, that's a real man. He said, okay, I can help her, but the cheating shit, no. They ain't fucking with no. that. Michelle, Michelle, same, same, same. Uh, can you weigh in on that? I, I can because yes, I got some things to say. Go ahead, so, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I feel like the problem is like today, people be treating their boyfriend, their girlfriends like side bitches and niggas. Like the conversation you were saying, you can't do... All that with your man, your real man, who is your, like, the cheating and stuff. You ain't going to have five other side niggas. And if no, no side nigga going to be keep doing all this stuff if you ain't giving up no pussy. Like, you're going to be fucking somebody else besides your nigga, period. And I do believe that, like you were saying, I we need men. Men need us. Like, there is no way around that. I don't know how biblical y'all get, but it's still in the Bible regardless. Thank you. And we are not meant to be die alone. You know what I'm saying? We are made Thanks. here to do things for each other. We're helpmates. That's period. Hold on, wait. And so I do believe that a woman should have her stuff together. Like, I was single for a very long time, and I had all my stuff together. But when my nigga came in the picture, he'd take care of everything. I don't have right. to do nothing but what I want to do. Right. Even I do and pay and get my hair and nails done, but if I don't... If, even if when, when it comes, he might just send me something like, what's this, what's this for? Oh, you said you need your hair done. Right. Oh, okay, cool. He knows I got my business or whatever. If you need help with anything, I'm, I got you. But you got to be a certain type of woman to even receive that. You yes. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. a nigga ain't going to do that yes. for just anybody. So that's how I feel about it. That is. Real talk. I think, uh, you know, all men aren't, some men are cheap, but all of us aren't. You just got to be that chick that we feel that is, you're that's worth investing in. Yeah. I have I have been with women that I haven't did shit for because of the fact that that's the kind of energy, that's the kind of vibe, and that's mm -hmm. the kind of respect that she gave back to me. Mm -hmm. And then I've had women that I have tried to do everything for because of the fact that 
that's how she made me feel and that mm -hmm. she, you know what I'm saying? So a, a lot of things we, we, we attract, you know, we attract exactly. what we, we, we gonna attract what we attract. And so if you're putting out negativity and you're putting out low vibrations, you're gonna get some low vibrational shit. And so, you know, you just, you just, you get what you put in, baby. Look, this, this segment is being brought to us by Restaurant 2131. Not so shy after hours. We got my girl, Chef Shy, in the building. Straight out of New York and one of the top <laughs> upcoming exceptional chefs here in Atlanta with elite dishes for affordable rates with love in every dish. They bring the five-star restaurant to you and Chef Shy is here tonight. And let me see, we got some food for y'all. See, we getting, we, getting, we, getting, we, getting, we getting spicy. Our menu tonight, the steak, salmon, turkey wings, macaroni, cheese, rice, salad, and cornbread. So, uh, Chef Shy, if you could. The real biggest. Yeah, that's, that's, this is amazing. I'm, I'm yeah. about to eat on the yeah, sugar alert, Chef, and I'm going to tear this up. So, uh, if you could, Chef Shy, make your way over here, and uh, we'll go ahead. Eat, eat, what, what would you like? Salmon and mac and cheese. She would like salmon and mac and cheese. So, we got salmon and mac and cheese. What would you like, Miss Empress? Um, I'm sorry, you mean Miss <laughs> Empress? What you want, Queen? Uh, Steak, salmon, turkey wings, macaroni and cheese, rice, salad, and cornbread. Salmon, cornbread, and mac and cheese. All right. Salmon, cornbread, and mac and cheese. And what would you like, Miss Pressure? Steak. She just wants some steak. Mac and cheese. Mm. What else is it? Sorry, <laughs> macaroni, and cheese, rice, salad, and cornbread. Salad. Okay, cool. Biz? You a pescatarian today? Presbyterian? Oh, uh, yeah. No, you're going to have the turkey wing me with a little bit of rice, please. Yes, sir. All right, Michelle. Yes, I want the same thing, turkey wing and rice. Okay. <laughs> on a little bit of salad with that. A little bit of salad with that. Okay, this camera on me. <laughs> Chef Shy. <laughs> I want a little bit of everything. Get in there, bro. Get in there, brother. Hey. hey. Big plate me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying under my 1,500 calories, goddammit. I only had 400 for the day. I need about 1,000. Get in there, bro. Get in there, Make sure you follow them at underscore restaurant 2131, man. IG 2131. If you need some catering for your event, for your party, for whatever, your bar mitzvah, your bachelor party, your bachelorette party, holla at Chef Shy. She's definitely cooking up and she's cooking it with some love and she put a whole foot in that thing. Get, 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 Official food sponsor of the Ugly Money Podcast, Trigger Lane. Let's move forward. We're going to get to some of these comments. That's what I was about I'm not going to read them all because no, I can only, I can I'm only imagine what the, and the, the chat is going crazy. <laughs> uh, I'll just shout out the people, man. Make sure you, hey, guys, guys, I need y'all to like the video, man. Everybody in the chat, please like the video. We showing love. We ain't asking for no super chats and big, and we just want y'all to um show us some love and like the video. I'm just going to shout out a couple people from the chat. Yeah. <laughs> she, yeah. She, uh, D, shout out out DS, I ain't reading that comment. Yeah. Uh, X Vid Vidishin File says, yeah, right, salute to you. Tale of two tears, this episode is starting off spicy. It is. That, that, that ugly it boy. definitely, it definitely is. Elevation Allah. I'm not reading that comment. Shout out to that, you. That, that ugly uh, BOS Flame. Shout out to you. I'm not reading that comment that, either. That, that ugly <laughs> Darkness Black. Uh, I'm not reading that comment that, either. That, that ugly <laughs> Uh, X Vision Files and uh, yeah, the chat's going crazy, man. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to the chat. All right, man. I love, I love, uh, I love our, our chat, nigga. Hey, that chat is different tonight <laughs> on God. God. They it triggered. They are triggered. They yeah, are triggered. that chat got a different they vibe on here tonight. <laughs> All right, so we, we, this leads us to our our second topic of the evening. Whew. Is having sex with two guys a threesome or a train? That, that, that ugly money. And we will start with pressure. <laughs> is having sex with two men a threesome or is it a train? <laughs> and what? Um, I think it's um, however it's set up, I guess, because, you know, you could just get a train ran on you and those niggas don't give a fuck, but you can really like be like, I want to have sex with two niggas. Like, that's just what you want to do. So it's just, I guess it's how it's set up. So how is having sex with two men not a train? I guess it's however you look at it. 
I mean, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm good. I'm, it's a train. I'm, I'm asking. I'm asking you how you look at it. Like how? Okay. Uh, it, okay. Hold on. Check it out. So I what, just told you. What I'm basically saying is, if I got a girl, her name right. is Tiffany, right? And and I'm not putting myself in this. Um, Biz want to come over there, <laughs> right? And then Stan want to come over there. How do they set this up where this is not considered a train? Like it's two girls and a guy? No, it's two guys two and guys. one girl. You two said it depends. I'm just trying to figure out how it depends. Um, I don't know. Okay. It's, uh, all right. Go ahead. Uh, Empress is, is, is having sex with two guys, a threesome or a train. Well, where I'm from, it's a train. We call it a train, but like, shit, like, like, if you if you want to have a threesome, shit, have a threesome. Like, grown you? as fuck. Like, exactly. I love threesomes. Like, shit, exactly. boy, girl, but I no, never get had, out of here. But shit, like, if a bitch wanna, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't no, it ain't no big deal. Ain't no pressure. Like. I feel like a woman can just do anything with her coochie. So that's shit, the, I like that energy. Train. Call it what you want. That's shit, I'm about energy. to get my nut off, and, and he energy. about to break off some money. So. <laughs> Biz, you got anything to say? To that? You got to do that? What's the What's the question? Uh, <laughs> She, I got lost she, she, halfway through that. She said what the hell she said. I, you know what I'm talking about? She said what she said and she meant it and she said it with her uh, chest. Exactly. Yeah, call, 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 call it what you want. So call shit. it what you want. Call so, it what so you want. It's, in, in, in Cleveland, it's called a train. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Ugly we ain't judging. We ain't judging. Yeah. We ain't judging. <laughs> we ain't judging. Uh, Michelle, it's, it's yeah. uh, having sex with two guys, a threesome or a train. So I feel like it's a train, right? But yeah. I kind of feel like what she was trying to explain was that it, as far as like it depends on how it happened, like say you, I don't know, at a party or something and you fucking a nigga and his friend come in, like that's definitely a train. That's a train. But I think she was saying like if they set it up, like everybody cool, I don't know, and then they go like fuck. That's something you really like a threesome That would be a I'm yeah, not going to lie. And a, and a train is just like they just come on like yeah, a train. Yeah, like, like nigga, I'm going to get this, tag me in type shit. Okay. You know that's a train. The like, chat, I just looked down at the chat and I'm not going to lie, I've seen about four or five people say that's a threesome. I'm just oh, looking wow. in the chat. Ugly, I'm not saying, you know, but I have noticed a couple people say, hey, a you train is multiple people. So it what is, is a train? A, four or more? Yes. A four. A is train crazy. is more than two people. Right. Because no, there's no, more no, than more two than people three. on the train. You gotta more be, than I mean, more. You got like more than four. Right. I and a like, threesome is a threesome. It's three. I feel, oh, okay. I feel like a train is. I feel like a train is more so. What's like, the difference between a train and a threesome? That's ladies? what I was gonna Can say. Like I, that's what I was a gonna touch. Got three people. No, like a train. Oh, but, okay, a train so is like a train is multiple. So a train gotta more. have more than two. Y'all, y'all help me out. I'm, like, listen, I'm, I'm trying to learn. Listen, 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 the train. Hold on. Listen. Hold on. Wait a minute. A train is more so. Ladies, wait, wait. One at a time. One at a time. I'm gonna ask. This is a different question. We are gonna stare off real quick. What what ladies is the difference between a threesome and a train? And let the ladies speak one at a time. I'm gonna start with you, Michelle. Okay, the di honestly, this I'm ain't. My, I don't know. Okay, but I'm gonna try to make it make sense to my head because I ain't never had a threesome. So, but if I'm thinking like threesome and a train, I mean just textbook, black and white paper, threesome, three people, anything more than that. Honestly, but then there's a. Is it a train or a force and five and six? So a train know. can't be two people. Uh, no, th two, three people. I'm not, I'm three not. people can't be a train. It gotta it's be four. It's gotta I be. still feel like if I it's unplanned, it's a train. A train is more than and three got two people. Niggas. So a train a is, is three. two men that's unplanned. with one girl that's unplanned. Or two yeah. women and one man. That's the threesome. So, so, so you're two no, way, no, wait. No. So, so you're saying, so you're saying. So can women run a train on a man? Can no. two women run a unless train? She, unless she's strapped. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> now we're getting into a different territory. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's not it. That's not it. I'm just saying. That's not it. You got off on the wrong exit. Wait, wait, you, got off wait, wrong wait, exit. <laughs> you got off on the wrong exit. Hold on. Put that car back in reverse. I'm saying, yo, we grown, right? And we talking. Wait, wait. That's definitely not I ain't never going to be that grown. What I was talking about is if a man is in a threesome with two women, mm -hmm. 
is that considered a train? Like, no, I, you know? I wouldn't no. say that that's a train. No. It gotta be at least body. Yeah, it's a three. Okay, that's a that's a three. Because a train a train is more so of like a train is more so of a girl and two dudes. So like she getting back shots and she getting she getting yeah she giving head. And a threesome is more so a threesome could be just more so of like. You know what I'm saying? It, a, a, a train is uh, uh, two people fucking one person, but mm. a threesome is like all three people engaging in, you know, oh, what I'm saying, with each other. Okay, that so was it could be, okay. That's yeah, a good so definition. Like, yeah, so it could be so, like, so, so it could be like two false. two dudes and a girl, or uh, two girls and a dude and shit with a threesome. But like a train is more so of like one person getting fucked. Mm. You got what I'm saying? By two yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just okay, by okay. More, more, that more, makes more sense. So, okay, and we all so, agree on yeah, that. So yeah. a train is hole, when yeah, one woman train. is getting the fucked fucking. by multiple, multiple people, and a threesome is when everybody it's is engaged, is engaged right. in fucking. All right. Right. Okay. All right. I think That's I got to understand. <laughs> Michi, like did you did you get that? Did you understand? I heard that bullshit. Okay. Break it down. What did you hear? Break it down. Um, ladies, if you let two men have sex with you, you just got a train ran on you. Yeah. 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 Uh, there ain't no way around it. Whether the niggas is straight, whether the niggas is spicy, it's a train. <laughs> it's a train. Uh, it ain't no way. You could try to dress it up as a threesome. Like, everybody agreed. Yeah, everybody agreed, but he still got a train <laughs> ran on that ass. Um, you know, that that's just... The way I put it, anytime it's two men, that's a train. We are taking, they are, t not we, they are <laughs> taking turns, whatever or bodily orifice that they can put their stuff in to go with it. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, a threesome, in my opinion, would be something completely different. Threesomes are amazing. Yes, sir. <laughs> Threesomes are amazing. And should be reserved for, you know, uh, consenting adults uh, with more females in the room than men. I agree. Uh, you know, but, uh, uh, yeah, two, two niggas, two niggas sword fighting, that's a train, baby. So, wait, you, I got a question. You for the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't never, like, you know how dudes be like, oh, me and my homeboy was in I know where you're going, no, ma'am, no. <laughs> I already know you're going, you no, it's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. No, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. It's not Real happening. men. Go ahead. Not gonna have another man, uh, another wa man yeah, watching his sex. dick. And they, yeah, exactly. that's just a that's real man don't do them shit. Yeah, that's just too, uh-uh. Like, uh -uh. That would turn me <laughs> off. Definitely a turn off. Like, what? But you know. That sounds like an athlete thing. <laughs> you know why men have such a, a hard it's time. It's an African thing. You know why men have what? such a hard time. African. I said athletes. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that. Hey, no Africans. Shout out to all the Africans. Them Africans do not care. We're not hearing no African slander. Them Africans do not care. Salute to all the Africans tuned in to the podcast. We appreciate you I didn't say Africans. She said Africans. She said athletes. She said Africans. Okay, my bad. Okay, my bad. The reason why men have such a hard time stomaching another man entering their woman is, first and foremost, it's another man entering you guys. Right. See what I'm saying? We gibbles. We just stick it in. You feel what I'm saying? But it's another thing. You let someone into you. That means you allow them to come into your sacred area. Your personal One, area. two. Personal. It's also a, 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 a social, a financial situation. The fact of the matter is, if me, if me and Michelle are dating, and I am pouring into you, I am your man. I am your protector. I am your provider. I pay them bills and handle my business as a man. For you mm. to let another man mm. be you over there. <laughs> he all up in you and all he bought you was some Waffle House and a shot of Hennessy that is uh, the most disrespectful thing because he didn't put in to you right. what I put in to you so why the hell would I put all this value time, energy and effort in you for you to go give your golden ticket away for okay, some Hennessy you're talking about cheating at Hennessy. this point because yeah, some is consensual three people having sex with each other, engaging with each other. Even if it's two girls, the two girls is on each other, and the man joins in. What you're talking about is cheating. Because if you don't agree with your woman having sex with another man, then that's, that is you mad that that bitch cheating. She's 
fucking another man. But if it's a threesome, everyone. I think consents. he was explaining why he ain't gonna do it. Exactly. But but she's triggered. Don't uh, worry about uh, it. It's uh, okay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, uh, a train also like if you don't, you know what I'm saying? That that's like you saying you basically saying you don't want to fuck your girl with another man or you don't want to. Have a I was explaining with, why with before, you cut, before you, you know? cut me off. Before you cut me off, I was, I was kind of but explaining. But I, I think what you I, were I saying. I was explaining why I was. Um, so back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, that's the reason why a lot of men would have problems with that is because of the fact that the matter is that a lot of times I, you're, you know, you guys golden ticket. One of your golden tickets is the, the pleasure that you provide for us. And that is something that we had to work sometimes very hard for. Mm -hmm. and we have to work even harder to keep it and maintain it. So why would we let someone else that has not put in what we've put in to you have access to your golden ticket? Right. But you won't. You This ain't for your woman. I don't think, do y'all do threesomes with y'all partners? Most like, definitely! Yeah. I can speak for myself. Damn, please. Oh, okay. You're well, with you me, ain't going do no threesome with no, your girl, no, though. I, I, I've me? never had no. one. You never I've had never one? Had, I've never had a threesome I never before. had one. You and, you and the old no, lady no, ain't never gonna take no, one no, down? No, 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 We've never, that's not how we kick out. You know what I'm saying? We Congratulations. Don't, you know what I'm talking about? We ain't, yeah, we not doing that. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not knocking nobody having threesomes with their girl, and I don't want to, oh, woody wop bam. But me and my girl know we won't be having threesomes with any of these bitches. So you mean to say? So you mean to tell me? You mean to tell me? You and your girl go out. Y'all, y'all go to hold on. Y'all go to KOD on Tuesday. Right. KOD on oh Tuesday. Shout oh, out to Ock. Take over. Shouts out. Shouts out. You at KOD on a Tuesday. You and your girl in the VIP section or whatever. You know, y'all kicking it. Whatever. You give about four, five hundred ones to throw, and you say, pick whichever one you want. Right? We did that before. And here come that. here come this his red motherfucker. Uh -huh. She thick, you know what I'm saying? She got some big old, pretty old eyes. <laughs> and she come over there with that ass just goddamn throwing it. And then she, she get in your girl ear and say, what y'all doing after y'all leave here? <laughs> okay. You're not taking that? He gonna say, ask my girl. Right. Well, hey, respect. Hey, okay. Hey. All right. Hey, you know what, Eve? Shit. I'm going, you know what? You said some real nigga yeah. shit just then. I got to go with Eve. I'm going to immediately direct Smart. and deflect you her to my to. girl, and she will explain her the program exactly. and whatever the program. Then it, now, if she So if your girl to, is with it, you would be with it. If she saying? forced me to, and oh, I had not to. Oh, now she got to force me to. <laughs> But I did it because I love her. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, if she like was like, you know what I'm saying, that's how she coming. I mean, I guess I would have to oblige. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? I mean, Chef Shy is bringing the food out. Chef Shy, salute to Chef Shy in the building. I'm going to figure this out in a second. Go on, pass this down. No salad for me. Yeah. Go on, pass you it down. You can keep the salad away from me. Um. Yeah, not like, um. I believe, like, to be told honest, cheating overrated. Why we got to cheat? No, 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 I get it. I I'm not saying, I agree 1,000%. I don't 1, even, like, I don't even if, 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 let's go ahead and pass it down. Uh, if I got a, if I got, anybody else want to say? Uh, I didn't. Okay. If I have to, it's Not my, that one. Okay, if, if I have to, um, this is dressing right there. Can you put that on there? If I have to, uh, I'm sorry, y'all, we, we, we grubbing tonight. It's <laughs> really going down. It's going down. <laughs> you might need to pass that goddamn cooler down here so I can get right. If I have to, uh, if I have to cheat, that means that I obviously don't have enough communication with my woman about the Correct. understanding of what, of what I need to feel fed physically and sexually in a relationship. Correct. And I obviously, if I have to lie to her and go do it outside the relationship, I ain't that's got enough game to keep it 100. Yeah, that's not you feel the one what I'm saying. Um, I mean, however you kick it, fellas, you know what I'm saying. You kick it, but I, I, I'm always a, a fan of truth, honesty, and transparency. For sure. And I tell a woman day one, like, hey, baby, cheating overrated. I ain't going to cheat on you. Yeah. But I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say that I'm going to sleep with you and only you for the rest of my life, too, now. Right, What's wrong right, with right, that? Right. Uh, yeah. I think it's unnatural. No, it's very natural. <laughs> he think it's unnatural. By, by whose standards? I think it's European. No, let her, let her cook. Let her cook. We can talk about this. Which is cool. Go ahead, Queen. No, go ahead, uh, Mr. Chill. I, 
I mean, it ain't about by whose standards. It's just it is what it is. You saying it's unnatural. If you saying it's natural, then who, who said it's it was un- natural? Who said it was unnatural? You. It's unnatural. I'm, I'm a man, and I'm saying as a man, it's unnatural for us. It's nothing for that men? we. For, yes. No, for that's the, not true. So you're so saying the majority. Men. Okay, hold on. We we need to get to this one right here. Come on, get this food. <laughs> said, take the get food. The food. <laughs> what is whose is this what? Uh, okay. Two turkeys. Can you, can you, can you just I don't know that side because I got a whole bunch of stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, I can't help. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Shy. Yeah, pass it over that side. Uh-huh. You can pass it around Thank if you don't mind, you. Michelle. Uh-huh. Um, so back to what Mr. Michelle was talking about. You're saying that it's 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 a natural thing for men to be monogamous. Yeah. Do you know that when a man ejaculates, he can he can impregnate? Do you know when a man ejaculates, he can impregnate half the country, half the world? Awful. That he can impregnate. He, Sound. With one ejaculation, a man has it. Right come on, Biz, why aren't you talking in the mic? With, with one ejaculation, a man can impregnate half the world with sperm. If it's, oh, you talking about if you go to a sperm bank and inseminate his sperm into when different we, When women? we ejaculate, there is billions of sperm that come out. So we're basically saying with one, one nut, a man can, can impregnate half the world. So wouldn't that tell you that a man is set up for quantity? No, that does not. That just means he has the ability. It's a lot of things that you have. So to, why would we give, be given the ability if that's not what's naturally us? Because you need a better chance of impregnating your girl, not the world. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I ask you this question, Miss Michelle, since you yeah. are, since you're one of the delusional monogamists on the show. Um, <laughs> tell me one high value, rich or famous mm-hmm. man that you know of that has never had a problem with monogamy? I don't know any. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 pro- that don't mean nothing. Uh, case closed. It's, 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 it's quick. That was quick. No, I didn't even take that long. That. Well, if you sitting there saying that it's not natural, but you can't tell me one it is case. Natural. You, you can't tell me one. You week. can't tell okay. me one case of it being natural at all. I gave you an opportunity to say, hey, tell me, tell me one rich nigga that don't cheat, and you say I can't name one. Exactly. The so only people I'll that be, how am I gonna know? So it's more natural for us to have more. We know about that be doing shit so, is P. Diddy, and he open with his shit. Who do I know that that high value that has that much money? Like, I don't know if you don't got to personally know him. Anybody, know have you ever seen anybody that has never had a problem with monogamy? But I feel like it takes more than just the human flesh to stay monogamous. No. Yes. Once again, let's rub, double back because you're diverting. Name me one rich person. Okay, then. So I, I'm, the not, fa- I'm not doubling back on that. Respect, respectfully so. So the fact of the matter is that you have never seen this guy, this, this, this super nigga. No, you said high value. Hold on, you Queen. Hold on, there. Queen. Super nigga. You've never seen this super nigga that makes over $100,000 a year. Oh, that's my nigga. My nigga make well over $100,000. He don't <laughs> He don't. He makes well over a hundred thousand. I ain't gonna bust a bubble shit. on this you, show. When you said high value, I thought you were talking about a billionaire. But my nigga made over a hundred thousand. That's go nothing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I am not surprised if a man cheat. I just don't think that every man is gonna have just one woman in their life. I'm sorry. I think every man has a side chick. I believe I it, okay. and I don't care if you do, as long as I don't find out, or if I'm with it, or if I'm with it. That's just what it is because I'm sorry, I don't know not one man that I know that I know is faithful a hundred percent. In my forty one in my in my forty hold on, in my forty respect. R- r- hold on, but in my forty one years of living, because mm-hmm. I'm forty one, I have never met a man that pays bills that don't cheat or that don't have multiple. Any man that brings more, I'm just, telling, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. But you, but you don't know the names, right? Okay, exactly. Mine. Yeah. 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 A you pink say? unicorn. No, you, they don't gotta now say we're that. talking about dollars. We're talking. Listen, 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 listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Going. I, in my 41. In my 41 years. Oh, that's close enough. But for me. Miss, Miss, Miss Michelle, you look like you 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 chipping on the bills too. You look like you a boss I chip. I, I, I can, but I don't. He does not make me pay anything. I swear to you. Oh, she done married Jesus. <laughs> Man, Jesus. You know, I look like I'm just like, a man. I, I, no, I spoil my nigga man, in other Jesus. ways. Man, no, I spoil him in other you ways. You ain't spoiled his ass with no threesome. Like, I, I, I take him on the You ain't spoiled him with no threesome. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, but if I 
I'm, you, you, I'm, 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 I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I'm not getting in your business, but if I was you, I would go ahead and hurry that process up. I don't a know. nigga that don't cheat, that got there, pay 100% of the bills, and you ain't gave him that? Okay. Why do he deserve a threesome? What you don't want to do is him to cheat down, baby. He I'm never just... had a threesome. He don't want one. He okay. don't yearn for oh, one. Okay. My pussy great. <laughs> they Respectfully. don't. My, We're not going to make it a personal no, thing. I'm just going to let it. I'm going to let it go. No, I don't want to trigger. I don't want to trigger. I don't want to trigger. I thought that was the show. She going to go ask. <laughs> no, that's right. She trigger. Go, like, let's get it. No, I had my ex. She going to go home and ask that nigga. I had. Listen to this shit. I had my ex. Asked me to have sex with him and his wife. My ex asked me to have sex with him and now, his wife. Now, did you do what it? Is the question. The bitch he cheated on me with, he married, he had the nerve to ask me to have a threesome with him and his wife. Did you do it? And now they're divorced. At least he was being honest. So, so you didn't do it, though? Hell no. Why would I've never you? had a threesome before, so. Oh, okay, you don't believe in threesome. I didn't say I don't believe it. I said I never had one. You've never had one, okay. Y'all hey, need to okay. grow the fuck up with that childish ass shit. I never had one. Y'all need to goddamn grow up with that childish ass shit. I'm going to tell y'all what happens. I'm going to tell y'all what happens. I'm going to tell y'all what happens. I just feel like if it's in you, it's in you. And if it's not, it's not. Yeah, if it's not, it's not. That means he going to knot his ass on another bitch. Well, then he can do what he got to do. Like, I'm trying to. Don't hey, do what you gotta do, I am bro. not saying that all men. I am not be saying you. that all yeah. men. I be, am, you. be you. Be you. Shout out to be you in the video. Be you. Be you. you can follow them at <laughs> BU Official Clothing. BU Official Clothing is yeah. the sponsor of Trigger Alert. You I'm did. not saying that all men are the same. I'm not saying. We, we, we only deal with majorities on the show. We can only talk about majority. Majority of men, if they bring more, they're gonna want more. If I make $250,000, I'm going to, uh, 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 if, I, if I make a half a million dollars a year, I might want a Bentley to drive instead of a Nissan Sentra because I make more, so I want more. Who the Nissan? Oh, you just talking about cars? The guy that works at Wingstop. He drives a Nissan Sentra. It's a 96. You know what I'm saying? The goddamn stick shift motherfucker. No, I thought <laughs> you, know you said like your girl was the Nissan, but nah, you might want listen, listen what I'm telling you. you Usually men that, because mm -hmm. we, you got to understand that we have to work extremely hard to become successful as black men in this society, right? True, true. So true. if we've gotten right. to the point, anytime that man gets to the point of being a six-figure, a better guy, that means he's usually considered high value. Okay, I agree. The, the, the level of competition that he had to go through to get to that point mm -hmm. usually means that he is naturally an alpha and a conqueror. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a man that has more is going to want more. Now, women, the fact that you may be pretty, curvaceous, smart, uh, a great personality, that's you bringing more. So guess what you're going to want? More, meaning a guy that has more. Okay. I'm a bad bitch. Mm -hmm. this, 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 these thighs is dying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're going to want a guy with more. I'm pretty sure that the Wingstop guy really probably wouldn't have a chance with you. Exactly. Which yeah, that's, okay. that's I was that's waiting a, to see if that's you were going to do it. That's but I like side. how you kept it real. That's respectfully. A other, that's a respectfully. Yeah. So what, I, what I'm saying is, I'm not saying that all men are saying, but I'm just saying majority of men that want more, going to want more. Now, whether or not they gangster enough to tell your fine ass that, that's on them. Because when, I remember when I was a fledgling, mm. I was scared to tell the woman that I wanted more because I know she would leave me. I can agree with that, but what I do, like, went back to what you said about communication, you really got to have good communication. I've asked my nigga about a threesome and shit, and we've had this conversation. I bring up stuff before he does. So, the so he said he wouldn't want two of you? He, he never said, first of all, yeah, not respectfully. Right. No, 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 right. no, 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 I'm not trying to say, I don't want you, I'm not trying to say it's another no, 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 you no, no, or wherever you're going, cuz, but what I'm trying to say is you don't think he would want another you and a you and a, you know what I'm talking about? Of course he might for, to, for the moment. Ain't no mics, ain't, no ain't, no, ain't no maybes about it. He that, definitely would. But that was, okay, so I, okay, so 
He pretty much said he never had one, but basically if I put it on the table, he would take it. Yeah. Okay. 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 But like I told him, I would if I my standards would be that high man for is a bitch. telling you something without telling you no, something. No, I brought it up. And he you didn't might want to listen to He's him never before had a it's too late. And he was married before. If he saying. So. That hey yeah if it came to me I might I would He's I just might it maybe without <laughs> telling you that hey babe some men are you might want to bring that bitch home one night <laughs> I don't agree some okay. men some men are just like they are monog like they don't have a problem with monogamy like you know what I'm saying they they don't like you say it's unnatural but I don't agree with that He's been married before he divorced her It ain't like he was the one out doing whatever and couldn't keep it in his pants and wanted his threesome and no, no, no. It wasn't none of that. It was his decision. And then he found me, which was better than anything he ever had. Okay, get in there, man. Pop it. <laughs> I'm out of this. I'm triggered. Yeah, nah. <laughs> more than likely, you know what I'm saying, me personally, on the, on that tip, if, if a nigga has the opportunity. And I'm sorry, I don't have mean to cut you off. I don't, I don't no, mean to cut y'all off. I don't mean to cut y'all off. You got a girlfriend, right? Hold on, y'all. Yes, Hold on, y'all. Okay. I don't mean to cut y'all off. But this shit is good as hell. Shout out the name <laughs> of the restaurant. Chef right, Shy, man. Chef Shy, <laughs> what's the name of it? Give us the name look, of the... Look, I mean to tell can you, Can she come up and say something busted. real quick? It's it falling off the bone. Hey, huh? and Chef Shy in the back, can you come up and just shout out your business, your yeah, establishment? Restaurant 2131. If you're in here, just come, please. Chef Shy, come on, come on, camera. Yeah, come on, Chef right Shy. Chef Shy, man. Yeah. Hey, there she go. Come, come on, here, not, the not, watch the cords. Not that way. Not this way, the other way, the other way. Go that way behind stand. Right around the corner. And and Eve, can you please yep, hand her I'll your mic? Her Thank you so much, ma'am. There you go, right there. Chef Shy, please give them the name of your business and, and to the side and to talking to the logo. Give them the name of your business and how they can reach out and contact. You can stand good. You can stand up. You're good. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, y'all can follow me on IG at restaurant two one three one. Well, it's actually restaurant underscore two one three one. Where are you located? And I'm located in Atlanta, and I'm willing to travel. Okay. Okay. Or IG seven one Shy seven one eight. Okay, so they can so they can they can reach you at IG seven one eight. No, IG shy seven one eight. Okay, I, on I, IG. Okay. Seven oh six. My bad. Okay, and where are you located in the city for those that would like to come come? Um, or is oh. it catering? Or t tell them how to go about getting with you. If you want to just book me, DM me um, at underscore restaurant two one three one. Again, that's underscore restaurant two one three one, or at shy seven zero six. Yes, we appreciate you so much, Shy. I'm the Thank only you. one that is able to speak because everybody is eating and doing their thing right now, <laughs> or finished eating. So, so we appreciate you pushing up and and. Um, bringing some food to the event. We appreciate you so much. Absolutely. I enjoy you guys. Thank that, you for having that, me. That part. Y'all give a shout out. Make sure y'all tap in, tap in. If y'all want some food, if y'all need some eats, Shy, she caters and she will handle the business because she came through and was stepping the big way. You know and he I mean? over there slurping. No, nah, yeah, yeah. Get in there. <laughs> get, <laughs> but a cabin, <laughs> get in there. Yeah. Me yeah, here, get in there, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me give y'all a play by play. Go ahead, tell them how it worked. This chicken right here, look, look, it, it busting off the bar. Look, look, look. You, you see the heat off of it, and then you dip it in the rice. He said, dip in the rice. Get a little soupy right here. Hold on, hold on. Let's oh, get you. Oh. <laughs> Be careful, sir. You I heard that was turkey. Talk to him when he's she's not around. I don't know what kind of bird it is. It's amazing. <laughs> he's turkey. Them turkey that's wings. Turkey. Hey, that's Those turkey wings. That's turkey. Hey, is it, is, that didn't change your mind at all, sir. You felt the same way as how you felt. And in the cabin, motherfucker, boy. Hold on. Let me read some of the chat. I'm in the chat right now, and they going crazy in the chat. Let me see what they talking about. Let's see what they are talking about. Uh, Elevation Allah say she was trying to set him up. <laughs> then he say she's being combative. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Khan say she talking with her hands. Um, Tired of Kids Santana say Baltimore and this bitch. Salute to the 410. Salute to everybody in Baltimore. Yellow boy, what they do, sir. Um, let's see what else we got. DS, he might have already 
ne hadn't and never told you because you look like you'll take him for everything he's got because you're here. Whoa, I'm not like, just hold on, chill. I, got, I, got some I don't know. Chef, I don't know. This I is what's being. Chef, chef. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get the salmon, motherfucker. Hold on. Get the salmon. I told vibe. I want a little oh, bit of everything. Oh, you did everything. get a little bit of everything? <laughs> oh, wait, I might. Put that thing in the rice. It's oh, enough back there. Get you, oh, okay. get you what you need. Hold on, hold on. I need to get some salmon. Okay, what's it tasting like? Get in there, sir. Get in there, sir. That's how you coming. <laughs> get in there, man. Why oh, you know what the food make you want? Damn, get in there, man. Hey, ATL, no cake, and say y'all making me hungry right now. <laughs> ATL, no cake, and peace. Salute to you right now in the chat. Food must be amazing because that one chick that was talking crazy ain't said nothing since she got the food. Since she got her plate, she ain't said eat motherfucking thing. Calvin, you are a right with what you just said, sir. You did. DS, I just want to say that she grabbed that mic quickly. Scroll up. It's lit in here. Tell Eve I said hi from Abby. Okay, Abby, what they do? Michelle says she need a salmon to go, by the way. Um, she looks like a girl from Good Times. That was the one he wants to hang, so he'll just on the hairs. ATL Peach, he got the fire emoji. Salute to everybody in the chat right now that's tapping in. It's a whole vibe in the chat right now. We appreciate y'all so much, you know what I mean, for tapping in with the motion. And um, I want to tell y'all something. You, let, we can go into the next topic. I got you. I'm going to bring you right into it. Just do your ones and twos. Last night, we was in KOD. You understand me? Because it's the Ugly Money Takeover Tuesday night, every Tuesday in KOD. So I'm invited to the next one? You are definitely invited okay. to the next one. But okay. here's the rules that we need to establish when we come into these strip clubs. KOD. I ain't seen a number. Bisexual women to your section. Hey. That ugly money. <laughs> Just chill. I'm don't start, touch on don't some start, booty now. Don't start no shit. It won't be no shit. But listen, let's get this out of the way. Because you know me and the great standing man, we're in the establishment doing what we do in the back, doing interviews and being great. But let's get something out of the way. When we go to strip clubs, and this go for the women too, because y'all not exempt. The strip club and the regular club is not the same kind of club. Drop a bomb for me for True. the people that don't understand. When y'all go to the strip club, bruh, if y'all don't feel like that y'all wanna go tip and get live and lit and do whatever it is, we don't care what you, how much money you got, I'm not judging nobody, but coming in the strip club and standing around all night is crazy to me in 2023. Yeah, yeah, are you gonna let the women, like, you gonna ask a question or are you just gonna make it a statement? No, I'm just doing something. Okay, go ahead. I, I know, this is what we are gonna do. He's real. triggered. No, I'm triggered, cause I'm talking about last night. So let's just understand and know real quick, man, because it killed the vibe. Yeah, I'm triggered, because it kills the vibe in a strip club. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all got to understand the difference between a regular club. There's nothing wrong just going to the regular club, standing around drinking, do your thing. But when you in the strip club, you got to goddamn, you know what I mean? We don't need you to spin the world, but get in there, sir, ma'am. And the women are not exempt. The women, the women are not exempt. Because when you come in there with you four, five, six, seven deep with your homegirls, yeah, they looking at you the same way, like get in there, get in how you fit in. So you know we are always, always KOD, Tuesday, Ugly Money Takeover. It's the vibe when we in there, but come in there the right way. So our next topic of the evening brought to you by Restaurant 2131, Chef Shot. The biggest. Oh, she getting too, she getting too tired. Yeah, man. Cause I got two plates. Yeah. Ah, ah. We can't do this no more. Cause hey, this that, food is making me sick. Yeah, sleepy. that food yeah. is, ah. it, it, yeah, I'm about to you, tap in. You can't in. do that anymore. Yeah, that, them turkey wings look like real life. All right, so, uh, question that was uh, brought up on uh, Ace Metaphors platform, tonight's conversation. Now, I salute Ace Metaphor for his platform because he's a black man and he's making this platform and he's making this paper and, and he's successful. And salute to Ace. Shouts out to Ace Metaphor. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't agree on half the shit y'all talk about on that show, but mm -hmm. I salute you. I ain't no hater. I don't agree, especially the thick one, the thick, pretty one. I can't, yeah, but anyway, yeah, yeah, hit it up. What is that, a, a podcast? Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. For they, sure. It's, it's, it's shit lit. they shit lit, they shit lit, they shit lit. I'm listening. They do their I never, I'm, but, I'm but, but hey, salute to you, my brother. Uh, I just don't agree with you and I would love to have a one-on-one -on -one debate. But um, here, no, there. Could 
Why do single mothers have trouble allowing a man to lead in the household? That, that, that ugly mother. She's talking about, really? <laughs> oh, I can answer that. Go ahead and we'll start. I think we might need to save you for later. Hold on, wait a second. Let's let's yeah, let's yeah, start with talk, pressure. Let's I'm start with pressure. Kid. Pressure. Why do single mothers have a prob uh, have trouble allowing a man to lead? Talk to the mic. It's a different question. Um, I think some single mothers like like not the ones now, but like the ones like back in the day, growing up or whatever. Uh, what? <laughs> I feel like. I feel like they don't know their value. Like us nowadays, we know our value. We know how to make a nigga do something. But like I see a lot of parents or single parents now that um, and even in my family too, um, they just don't know how to keep a man. And I don't know how. Like I know how to keep a man, but I just feel like it's the older generation that just don't know what they doing. I don't know. Um, I don't know, like, I don't know. I know how to keep a man, but, like, I feel like some of the women Are you single family, right now? I ain't trying to talk. So you, have, you, have, you, have you ever had a problem with allowing a man to lead you? Mm -hmm. Is basically what we're saying. To lead me? Mm -hmm. Oh, to lead me. Um, Is you going to listen? I, <laughs> I'll put it there. Some to. stuff because, like, going back to what we were saying earlier, I kind of feel like we do need men in a way. I don't want to tear down men because I learn a lot from a man. Mm -hmm. Like, I like being around men more than I like being around women because it just seems like I get along better with men. Mm. And um, mm. I feel like, yeah, like, a man can lead you and, and teach you things. I feel like you're supposed to be able to teach each other. Amen. Okay, okay. Hi, right, Empress. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever have a problem? I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna change the subject. I'm gonna change the, the yeah, question yeah, a little bit. Yeah, Would yeah. you ever have? Do you have a problem with a man leading in a relationship? Man. Oh, well, me. I'm I'm naturally submissive, so you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bruh, 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 that's not it, bro. That's not it. What? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right. That was you, Empress. Okay, my bad, ma'am. I'm sorry. I thought it was somebody else. I didn't know that was you. My fault. Go ahead, ma'am. I didn't mean to cut you off. So it's like, I don't know, like I don't I wouldn't have a problem with a man leading, but like he gonna have to lead the correct way. Like if not, like if 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 a nigga let me take advantage of him, I'm gonna take advantage of him. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna have to know how to, you know, lead. In, you know, yeah, like facts, like lead, lead with me. So yeah, like absolutely. But I feel like okay. So, but when it comes to single moms, because I'm gonna always speak up for the moms. You know, I'm a single mother. But um, I feel like, you know, like women, they they have so much of a burden to where it's like, you know. With or, or with or without the dad or a man, like, you know, the baby still got to get fed and, you know, these kids still got to get taken care of. So, you know, um, you sometimes know it can be hard for a woman to leave, especially like when you've been doing you know this what? shit. Like me, like, I take care of myself. I make sure, you know what I'm saying, my son is good at all times. So it's like sometimes like when you when you, when you you get a man or if you have a man, like, oh, let me do this for you, do that. It's like, uh, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So check it out. This is what I'm gonna tell you, friend. Let's make some room for Tia. Let's make some room for Tia. You might have to take yeah, that food off morning. the end right yeah, there yeah, and yeah, let her sit on the end if you could. Take oh, the yeah, food. Slide, yeah, slide, yeah, slide, let's slide, let's slide it in. Yeah, let's slide it in. And she could sit right there on the end. It's fashionably late, but she's always on time. It's all good. With this, with, 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 with the question right here, you just gotta really be that nigga, man. And I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, there's no other way to word it other than that. You got to be him. You know what I'm saying? The one, not the two. And if you stepping and you revving and you handling business accordingly, you know what I mean? It might probably be some resistance in the beginning, but you know what I mean? If you really handle the business like that, then at a certain point in time, 
she'll realize, like, you know what? He one of them ones. Ain't no way around it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, nigga's going to apply that pressure. If he apply the pressure, <laughs> then we're going to do what you say. Yeah, yeah. You definitely, you Don't definitely got to be him. That's the, 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 the yeah, you got to be him. You know what I'm saying? So you can't be trying to just uh, discipline the kids and talk shit. You, you got to be doing all that shit, taking care of uh, right. kids, paying bills, doing all the little shit that niggas do when they be doing what they do. So it's like, you know, ain't no, if you him, she going to get the motion and get the program. If mm -hmm. you not, if then it's going to be a lot of resistance. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. It will be resistance, but if you that well, guy. Let's, let's let especially Eve, let's let, let Eve, yeah, let's let Eve Especially in. if she has sons. You know, um, if you're entering a relationship with a female and she has boys or whatever, I think you should be a, a good role model, first of all. Because there's a lot of men who come into these relationships with these single women and they sitting around playing with the Xbox and eating up the snacks and shit like that, you know? And kids see that shit. I mean, I've never experienced it, but you know, I've seen it. And if you're not ready to be a role model, and as a single woman, you should know whether this man is good enough to be around your son. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like me, I'm not gonna have just no regular degular around my sons because right. I, I, I treat Fact. my son, I teach my sons how to be men. And if I'm not going to have a real man around my kids, you don't need to be around me. <laughs> and, I feel like, and I feel like, I especially with like with the single mothers, it'd be so hard to, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially when you go so long with being a single mom, like, real is real. Like, niggas are call for a booty call. Like, single mom don't really, you know what I'm saying? Well, at least from my perspective. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got you to gotta go ahead and get it yourself. So as far as, like, letting the man lead, it can be hard because you can let a man feed you, you can let a man starve you. So it would be like, you know, single moms that, you know what I'm saying, just don't be uh, 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 putting put a lot of... Um, not responsibility, uh -huh. but like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold you to that standard when I, I know you. it. Yeah, some, yeah, yeah. It so can be saying, temporary. So you're saying that at times it's hard for single mothers Absolutely. to allow a man to lead. Absolutely. They're so used to leading and Absolutely. handling everything. I, I got y'all, and you know what? That's why they single mothers. Facts. No, you're that's, right. That's exactly you're right. why they're you're single right. mothers. They're single mothers because they don't allow a man to leave. Sometimes you because, gotta fall hold back. On, hold on, because ain't no goddamn alpha man <laughs> that's paying bills, <laughs> that's doing what he's supposed to do, or at least trying his damn best to take okay. care of a family, to take care of a woman, to take uh -uh. care of a household, is going to put up with a, a woman that does not allow him to lead. Then what the fuck am I paying bills for? If all... I, hold up. I'm talking, Queen. It's my turn. I'll let you talk that bullshit for five minutes. <laughs> what the hell is my incentive for taking care of the lights, taking care of the mortgage, taking care of the insurance, taking care of your nails and hair and everything and going to Disney World two times a goddamn <laughs> summer? Yeah, 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 if your ass ain't gonna let me leave, why the hell would I fund your life and lifestyle if you're not gonna allow me to have the first say-so? And that's probably why you a single mother. That, that, that ugly mother. Real fact. No, it's fact. I disagree. I d I disagree because after all the crying, after all, so you, you these single mothers getting Man, beat. These single that, mothers you, you left that nigga. You left that nigga for some dick and pussy. Yeah, you, yeah, left yeah. Nigga, you left that nigga about some dick and pussy. He won't buy no goddamn money. Yeah, yeah, you I'm left sorry. the happy y'all left First the man for some dick and pussy. It was that was what it was all about. Your ego was hurt. Your pride was hurt. You, he heard you had a side bitch, so you didn't want to fuck with him or whatever. And that's what happened. Because guess what? No Most way. of the guys you wouldn't have even had a damn kid with his ass if you didn't think he was financially stable enough to take care. Of it. At least that I would hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that cool. would make no sense. So at the, at the end of the day, a lot of times y'all walk away from great men because of the fact that your <laughs> ego and your pride is hurt about a look about another little bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm be quiet. I'm be My bad. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was triggered. I was triggered. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, I, I, I disagree because how can you? You know what I'm saying? Like. Mm -hmm dictate how a woman's supposed to like move on with her life at the crime, getting beat on and getting left. And, oh, no, nah, if he beat on that's a, a whole nother story. You single, took it too far. They, it, it's, it's what? Because the, the last man who did what to the mic. supposed to do. So, not not right. even that. It's like knowing who you is, you ain't gonna let a fuck nigga play with you again. 
Like they, it's just, but what if he's not a fuck nigga though? Have to be single. But if you were single, you got your, they you got single your mom for a reason. Up. They a single mom for a reason. If a nigga, if, if, if you a single mom, if a nigga leave you or if a nigga not helping you, that's single From mom. If I you see. if you doing everything by yourself, that's single mom. No, what he's saying is if a man comes into your life and he's doing everything for you and your <sighs> child, taking you as you know what I'm saying his kid, your kids. Like they're his kids, and he's doing everything, and you still trying not to let him leave. I mean, that's the majority. He, you speaking of the majority? Saying. That's incorrect. A lot of women, and a lot of niggas don't be paying these bitches bills. A lot of niggas don't like be doing said, that though. Financially, single, it's not. Right? Sometimes it's not that case. It's a, it's a, it's what a different boat really for different. And that's right? your fault for allowing yourself to sleep with a nigga that can't goddamn upgrade you. Choose better. When are we going to take, hold on, when are we going to take accountability for the fact that you chose wrong? When are we going to take accountability for the fact that, you know what, you ain't have no business fucking that nigga raw anyway? When are we going to take, excuse me, when are we going to take accountability for the fact that, you know what, he wasn't him? And you should have moved on before he shot your club up. And then you sit there and sit there and complain and, and, and nag and bitch and he ain't shit and he ain't that and he exactly. ain't this. Baby, you picked him and you fucked him wrong. Exactly. exactly. So how is so how is it all his fault? I think I, I think women should take some accountability for choosing wrong. That, that, that ugly money. Go ahead. No character. No, we we me and me and she changed like the season. You can't say like, man, you oh, know a, man a broke nigga when a broke nigga a broke nigga, baby. I don't want to hear that no, shit. No, 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 no,
Uh, my name is Tia, Tia Live. Um, I'm an artist. I'm from Memphis by way of Chicago. Um, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, was here to, I, was, I was really Salute here to, to you. Yeah, hey, Salute um, to you. Salute to Tia. Pre yeah, nah, appreciate you I was up. here the whole time, but like I was like a little bit late. And then I didn't do my makeup, and I was like, damn, everybody looks so pretty. So I was just like, maybe he won't see me. Uh, I feel like you looked at me in the audience a few times, oh but boy. then I just sparked my wood. I and... know <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Okay. Respectfully. Okay. Yeah. Good next answer. Week. I'll be like, I'll Great go answer. Next week. <laughs> Always next week. So um, I'm going to let you answer, be the first to answer this next question. Okay. Could you be happy in a relationship? that you pay all the bills? Most definitely. <laughs> Only because I'm like extremely ambitious. Like as an artist, I imagine that with my talent as well as my passion and you know, my work ethic that I plan to put forward that I be amongst like the top ranks. I like, understand that you got your thing going on. I'm yes. talking about we in a relationship Let and you paying cook. our bills. No. Okay. If I was cook, you, know. you talking about your shit. I'm, I'm talking, talking about our shit. I'm talking about I'm gonna have that much money. Yeah, basically. I'm gonna pay a whole Before lot of you bills. have that much money, yes. when you're doing regular I'm, jobs well, and things of that nature. As of right I'm, now, yeah, could I'm, you be I'm, happy in a relationship when you paying bills, all the bills? Yeah, I mean, it's, as as long as the other person is um, offering something that helps me, I'm an act of service person, and words of affirmation is how my love language is. So if that person is making it like extremely easy for me to do other things, and like they balance me well, yeah, that's cool. They're probably doing something else that's gonna help them advance. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like okay. we have to have that understanding, you know? Can't you can't be on no broke shit, just like laying around the house? No, I'm on some broke <laughs> shit. I ain't paying no bills. <laughs> You gotta call it what it is. I'm not paying no bills, Tia. I need I you mean, to pay the rent. I, mean, I need yeah, you I to know, pay I the know. Netflix. That Wi-Fi that's, that's jumping. Cool, that's I need cool, you to pay cool. that too. My car note. I got two car. I got three cars. I need you to pay the insurance on that. I'm, 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 I'm getting. I'm, you know, I'm going through tough Why times you got so right now. so many cars you don't go <laughs> nowhere? Saying, well, you know, I, I used to be. I, I got cut from the NFL. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the same okay, no all right. You know what I mean? Are you? Could you be? You still could be happy. First of all. Why you got so many cars and you don't go nowhere? Well, I lost my NFL <laughs> contract. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, the answer, like, so in a nutshell, would I date a broke man? No. Would you date a man that you had to pay all the bills? And be happy yeah, with Yeah, nah, I ain't really tripping. That's I, cool. I got it like that. And, I, like, I love my it. love is set up like that. Hey, that's on some hypothetical. She talking nah, about let her she stand. Talking about yeah. I like it. Like, Salute to you, Queen. Salute to you, Queen. Same question, Miss Michelle. Miss Michelle, same question. Could you be happy in a relationship that you mm -hmm. paid all the bills? No. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely not. Not if I'm if I'm in a relationship with a man, hell no. If I'm in a relationship with a bitch, which I ain't gay. Maybe because I'm more man. I, I have an alpha female personality, but if my I would have to be with a man who is alpha males, and you gotta pay all the bills. Okay. So, you, you ain't going for that at all? No. Okay, so check no. this out. Uh -huh. Check this out. All right. I'm, I'm your man. Okay. I play for the Falcons. Right? I was in. I Should have played for the Chiefs because that's where I'm from. KC, stand up. Okay, hey, fuck y'all, man. Fuck <laughs> y'all. Yeah, My like homes. That. But anyway, go ahead. so, so <laughs> I, I play for the Falcons. The game that Tom Brady and the Patriots and the Falcons, the Super Bowl, the game, I was deaf. That third quarter that Tom Brady came through and crushed the Atlanta Falcons' heart. And then after that game, that Super Bowl game, I got cut because I had an injury that I didn't really talk about, so my play went down and it ended up cutting me. All right? Now, we have this luxurious lifestyle. You know, we got one of them. Two point nine million dollar houses over there at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And now my contract is gone. We can't be together anymore. Absolutely not. I didn't say that. <laughs> what I said was, you said if I had to take care of all the bills, like you spoke it as if it's indefinitely. 
from beginning to end. I'm taking care of a man that I have to take care of, period, point right. blank. Mm -hmm. Not with stipulations as in my man on down times and now it's time for me to kick in and be a woman. Okay. Bobby, I've been a woman, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it. it's time to play your Either part man. for real. <laughs> If even if I had to do it for a year, my 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 sister had to do that for her husband. So I'm like, it's nothing. Like yeah, I would kick in more. and do what I need to do. But I'm not would gonna take no grown ass man. Yeah, would I would you be, be fine happy? with it. I would be fine with it because at that point it would be time for him to pick up where now where he's lacking and I have to kick in on my part. So if I gotta work more, that means you gotta help around the house a little more. And I'm gonna be still working and taking care of the house. Mm -hmm. Like even now, me and my dude, we both cook. Like we both I do the majority of the cleaning, but we definitely both cook. So it's like it, maybe you just got to pitch in a little more with the cleaning if I got to work a little more. We'll figure it out, but that's where communication come in at, you know? Okay, I ain't triggered. I ain't triggered yet. <laughs> I ain't triggered yet. Yet. Uh, Miss Eve, same question. Could you be happy in a relationship that you pay all the bills? Well, like you said, if he was making all this money and, you know, got cut, I'll hold it down. I have no problem holding it down. But if he had all that money, we would have assets, so he wouldn't really be broke. Because he would, like, if he's getting all this money, he has his money tied into other things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If he was smart. but um, I wasn't. But, you, but he got her as his woman. Because so. I thought, cause I, thought yeah, I was Yeah, you got me as your woman, so yeah, Because I had a $25 million contract next year, and I had it coming, and I didn't plan for the rainy day. But you still had something. You wasn't planning for nothing, right? Yeah, I got these goddamn bills. That's what I got. I got this goddamn <laughs> Lamborghini I can't pay for. The motherfucking Bentley outside I can't pay for. And the goddamn two point nine million dollar house that I can't that's pay where for. That's what a woman supposed no, to come in. Exactly. At. That's where the that's woman is supposed, supposed to come to in. Like, right. if I know he's bringing in money or whatever, and I'm going to make sure that money's going to go somewhere that's going to benefit us later. You know what I'm saying? So True. he's not going to be broke. In my eyes. But we still broke. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So you can change the goddamn scenario. But I'm still, I'm still gonna hold it down. I ain't got it because I know I never had to spend my money, so I know my bank account is is stacked. So I'm gonna be able to, exactly. you know, hold you hold it down be. until you know what I'm saying. Till he get back up. It's true. Okay. See, I saw accusations. The These are not accusations. This is false accusations. I'm, 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 I'm out of here. That's the wrong real point. Point. Get, get that ugly money. If I don't have to spend my money and he's making all this money, of course money. I'm stacking money. for rainy days, mm -hmm. right? Oh you should. My God. Oh. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. You were doing just I'm fine. Sick. And I'm going to tell you because I know you didn't listen to the last episode. And I run it back for you. Fellas, never trust a rainy day bitch in your life. Oh, that's a woman not true. That tells no. you that no. she's going to save her money no. until emergency times. You run away from that woman as fast and as far as no. you can. Because no. when it all goes down, she's not going to spend that money. She's going to take that money and move to another that's provider. That's a lie. I'm so, that's I a lie. told you fellas this a million times. That Please never fall for rainy day women. <laughs> please, please, please. No, you can't. never. Don't ever. ever don't fall tell people that. For a don't rainy tell people that because every female woman. is not the same. Don't tell people Majority that because if I'm in a relationship, I'm 100% all in. I was fine. Okay. You said that. I've never been the type to cheat. I've never been the type to leave unless you fuck me over. You know what I'm saying? So I'm there. I'm there for the long haul if I love you. And I will make sure that you're good because that's the type of person I am. I'm not a grimy bitch. Mm -hmm. I'm not a greedy bitch. I can, I can get whatever the fuck I want. Now, if I love you, I got you. We talking about Eve, Period. I guess, because the okay. women in the world that love this rainy day shit, they are not Eve. Okay, they but you know real what? I'm a rare breed. You, okay, and there's I'm not a lot of us, that. okay? You're a great because woman. I'm not a materialistic man, type of female. They, I am hey, not. Okay? Not I may expensive. look expensive, I just take care of myself. As you okay, should. Okay, I eat well and I take care of myself. And that means that you know you got a certain lifestyle that you're gonna want to continue, right? Because you're expensive. Yeah, and I can continue and my if I lifestyle. Can't my lifestyle, that lifestyle is being mentally, mentally though. straight, physically in shape, eating my food, the right foods, and be and I meditate. Well, let me That's tell you, my life. Let me tell you, let me tell you why Biz says what he says about rainy day chicks. Rainy days. Real rainy quick day. story. I'm gonna keep it under a minute for uh, for a clip. I was with a girl when I lived in Augusta, Georgia. I was the number one rated radio host, the number one promoter, and probably the most popular rapper in Augusta at that time. Mm -hmm. We were together for three years. I got signed in 2014 by 8 Ball and MJG. Mm -hmm. 
We moved to Atlanta in 2015. That's where you went wrong. Because mm -hmm. Ball had suggested me move after I got signed, which for my career. I said, hey, I really don't want to move because all of my businesses and all my hustles is here. My woman at the time tells me, no, hmm. we're moving. I got us. And I said, you sure? I said, because, you know, my, my club was over there. I had to resign from the radio station after I got signed. She, she said, I got us. Okay. We moved to Atlanta in 2015. How long were y'all together in Augusta? In, in we were Augusta? together for three years in Augusta. Okay. We moved to Atlanta in 2015. She left me in three months. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three months. Okay, was you doing that threesome shit you be doing? Wait a <laughs> minute, wait a minute. I was doing the same shit I was doing. In the there's a lot hold of on, relationships. No, that's a great question. I was doing the same things that I was doing. I was the same guy that I was in Augusta, mm -hmm. in Atlanta. Only thing different the bitches. was- only Nigga thing, ain't had no, no money. No, only thing different was, in Augusta, I was the provider. Mm. In Atlanta, I didn't have it. Mm. Because I had right. stepped out on faith, Starting went over. to my career, Starting. wanted to invest in my shit, to try to build myself up. You feel what I'm saying? That was the only difference. The only okay. difference was okay. PayPal. Okay. So that's why Biz has that, 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 that thing because majority of women, yes. when, your, when your luck run out, yes. them bitches gone. In the thin air like the goddamn gas And they gonna try to make it seem like you did something so bad, that's the reason. And oh, it's not about the money, it's about how you done changed. Only thing changed was my bank account, boo. What was the soul <laughs> bad? Since you, yeah, yeah, that's, well, she, she tried fact. to say, you know, nah, what I'm nah, I, yeah. we never would go for that. As long as we got all of these, so uh, these men that watch and support us, we will always be honest with y'all, fellas. And I, be I told my mindful yes, of I, this rainy day shit. It's told, going on I, in the community, sure. and we fighting against it I, head to head. We are not going for it, and, I, and, and I, I'm I, here to support you. And I told myself, I told myself after that situation, I said I will never mm. in life mm. allow a woman. Mm to take care of me. Come on now. I would never put my trust and faith in a woman mm. providing for me. Yeah. And I've okay. been running it up ever since. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugly well, you was just with the wrong woman. You think so? I'm, she was the was. right woman for the first three years, though. When you paid all the bills, she, she was Yeah, when right you paid woman. all the bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, amazing. we don't know all the details, but just like you, y'all told her, well, I heard she said she brought up PTSD. Don't be bringing your baggage into the new relationship. Oh, no, no. See, I believe I believe there's four ways to tell that you got a good man, right? Okay, The Name. first way. You said mate. There's, there's four ways to tell if you got a good man, a generally good man. One, he don't beat your ass. Mm -hmm. Two, he don't ask you for money or use you for money. Okay. Three, he ain't giving the dick away and bringing no babies and no goddamn diseases into this house. Mm -hmm. And four, he don't beat your ass. Notice I said something twice. So I don't do, hold on, I don't do though any of these four things. If you get the, you got a guy that do these, don't do these four don't things. Go for it. You genuinely got a good, decent guy. You need to shut up and be happy. Because, I mean, you, you know, 80, you, you're not going to get 100%. You're going to get 80% of what you asked for. So the fact of the matter is that I wasn't beating her ass. Mm -hmm. I wasn't got down using her for money. Okay. And I wasn't bringing no babies and no STDs home. And I wasn't beating her ass. Then she should have shut the fuck up, in my opinion, because genuinely you got a decent man. I feel like if you were, like you said, doing the same thing you was doing in Augusta in Atlanta, she shouldn't have shit to say. Oh, for she, sure. She chose the man she was with there, and I'm still the same nigga here. So she loved shut me. up. She loved me in Augusta. She did. Yeah, I'm we, telling you, it was the me. bitches. It was the quality, was of, the quality bitches of bitches that you had you in think Augusta. So? I think so. That's she majority was of the bitches. Yeah. That's majority. Most, most. My, Women are, in my women are hypergamous by nature. They want to be with a man that has more than them. They want to be with a man that can teach a them provider. something, doing it, can show them something, and give them a higher level or standard of living. So when that man has that, that standard of living is no longer there, a lot of times women stop respecting the man. When your man falls on hard times, like your boyfriend that makes over $100,000 a year, mm -hmm. and heaven forbid, we're not, knock on wood, my brother, because I don't want to ever see a brother down bad, knock on wood. Heaven forbid he loses his job or whatever business he has. Okay, can I tell you he did? Okay, and you stood by him the same exact way. I did. We're still together. I ain't had to pay no bills, but we still... <laughs> 
So how did exactly? That's not the same, Queen. That's not the same. That's what I'm I, saying. No, well, I feel like I stepped up in other ways. I feel what? I stepped, yeah, like around the house. Like so I don't, when he lost it all, you still together. had to pay bills. No, That's no, what no, I'm saying. We didn't saying. live together at the time. Let me reiterate. We didn't live together at the time when he lost his job. We didn't live together. I had my own bills. He had his own bills. But I still picked up like, okay, if I know we can't go out to spend five hundred dollars on drinking and eating. All right, cool. I'ma buy the food and buy a bottle and come to the house. And he said, "Hour away from me." You know, like. So basically, you made sure that, hey, bro, I'ma keep handling my shit. You just handle your shit. Okay. Yeah, 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 I didn't. I couldn't afford to pay me and his bills. So I mean, I'ma be honest. Like, if I had it, if and he needed it, but he had money. He wasn't dumb. He had money. He had money still. He lost his job, but he still had money. Okay. Um, same question, Miss Pressure. Uh, dealing with the man. Could you be happy in a relationship that you had to pay all the bills? I don't think I could be happy because... Finally, some honesty. I'm not going to be happy because I just feel like the man should pay the bills. Like, I always went into a relationship where the man paid the bills. So it's like, I'm not going to say I'm going to switch up when shit get rough. But I just, I just can't deal with it. Like, and then, like, in the industry that I'm in, I realized that I can't even be in a relationship for real because it's a lot of men in my face and the, the niggas gonna get jealous. And it's like, well, all these niggas got money and you going broke. <laughs> I can't do that. All these niggas got money and I'm gonna stay down. I'm gonna stay down with right. you. I'm not saying right. I'm just gonna just like completely that. switch up, but I'm just saying like, I'm gonna look at the bigger picture. Like if these niggas is, it is a good opportunity, then I guess slowly. I'm an opportunist then. Okay, okay, that makes sense. And I, I have, you got kids, right? I don't have kids. Oh, you don't? Oh, okay. No, I'm so not sad. I'm outside. So, fellas, understand this. I respect the fact that she was honest, but understand this. This is a very sad situation, yeah, yeah, yeah. fellas. And life is a lot, sad. Majority of women are opportunists, meaning, brother, as soon as you ain't got it, they ain't got you. So you got to focus yeah, yeah, on yourself, yeah, 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 gentlemen. At the end of the day, I, I'll let you talk that bullshit. Come on. It's my turn. At the end of the day, gentlemen, if you ain't got it, she ain't got you. You see what I'm saying? She going to, all right, these boys over here got some money. You feel what I'm saying? So that love, that love that she had for you, that respect that she had for you, once that money is gone, it is a chance and an opportunity that she's going to take another opportunity for another provider. And Biz say, what you say, Biz? You hate a what? I hate a rainy day, bitch. Fellas, just know about this shit. We giving you free game. Please learn it and love it and embrace it. But I respect your honesty, Queen. I respect your honesty. Shut up with that bullshit. <laughs> You, you ain't you ain't said nothing wrong. You ain't said nothing wrong. You just as you just living your truth. As an exotic dancer, I cannot be in a relationship because the nigga is way too jealous, and it's like trying to stay down and, and play that uh, staying down till you come up. It, that shit get old. It's a lot of niggas in love with strippers right now. I don't know about that. Down and I done did that shit before, but that shit get old. Like, Why do you think you can't have a relationship as an exotic dancer? I tried it. Okay. It just don't work. Why I tried that it? shit over and over. Did you give him a reason for it not to work? Did you ever take Did you ever take he work outside of work? It, did I you meet him in the club? Why I, I gotta be meet him in the club? Okay, that's wrong. another thing. That's like, the problem. You can't meet these niggas in the club because you already know what I'm on. So when when he knew what I was on, it's like you should have just left it there. But then we got serious. So it's like I'm always gonna look for you to like. Where your money at, nigga? Like, what's up? You coming to the club? Like, what's up? So I'm always going. So, did you have a boyfriend or a regular? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like a regular. No, he was a regular. That turned he was, yeah, he yeah, was a regular. Yeah, which is the problem. He was a regular and turned into my nigga. But, but you want so your nigga to be your regular still. If he turns into from a regular to your nigga, you still trying to treat him like a regular. Talking about why would your boyfriend have to come to the club and tip you? You're so, hold on, man. Hold on. That's why I asked if she met him in the club. Don't come to the club. You met her in the club. Don't come to the club. Don't come to the club. That's that bullshit. 
See, at the end of the day, fellas, I, once again, once again, <laughs> gentlemen, once again, gentlemen, you got to focus on yourself because these women are about that paper. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, think what I'm saying? More. A lot of them want that motherfucking bread. <laughs> now, if you become, if we, if we love you, I love yeah. you, and you love me, and we supposed to be in, 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 in a relationship, it's supposed to be in love, yes, conditionally on the fact that you got that bag. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, gentlemen, yeah. focus on that bag. Yeah, yeah, I say yeah. never chase a woman. You always lose money chasing chasing the women, you never lose women chasing money. You dig what I'm saying? Fellas, follow your purpose. The women, listen, follow your purpose. Yeah. Gentlemen, the, listen, the follow your purpose. <coughs> Don't chase the money. You follow your purpose, the money will chase you. The women will chase the money. And that's how it works. Let's go on. You cook it right now. Fellas, follow your purpose. The money will chase you. The women will chase the money. And so on and so forth. As long as you <laughs> operating in your purpose, brother, I promise you her pussy going to stay with Back. Because one thing a woman loves is a man with a plan and a man operating in his purpose. It ain't nothing more sexy than him. And I know y'all agree with me on that. Y'all love a man that got a plan. Y'all love a man that got, you know what, he... I fuck with what he got going on. He got some shit. He, he figured some shit out. All right, Miss Empress, could you feel, could you feel happy, could you feel happy in a relationship that you're paying all the bills? Um, I feel like it depends, like. Depends like, means you're diverting. It, it depends, Let's try like, this again. Hold on, we're going to try this one more time. It ain't no pen. It's either yes or no. It's multiple choice. It's A, yes, B, no. That's called, the, anytime a woman says it depends, gentlemen, that means she's diverting from the answer. She doesn't want to answer the question honestly. All right, it's A, B. Yeah. Hold on, Miss Empress. Once again, I'm gonna put your mic up. Miss Empress, A, yes or B, no. Could you be happy in a yes, relationship yes, that you pay yes, the bills? Yes, Amen. Yes. And why? Because what if he got into a car accident or something that prohibited him from not working? You get what I'm saying? And then if he can be up, one, if he can be up once, he can be up, he can be up again. You get what I'm saying? And like, I don't know, like when it comes to like, like, like men, I feel like, you know, they should be, they, be, they should be taken care of too. Like if you, if you get my hair done, I'm gonna get your hair cut. You get what I'm age, saying? Though. So, but it's just like, it's like, it, it depends on certain, certain situation because like, if you just lost your job and you don't got no ambition about yourself, it's like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be there, but uh, uh, it's fun while it lasts. It's gonna be fun nigga. while it lasts, but eventually I'm gonna fucking leave your ass. Cause like, what, like, what you mean? Like, you're not, if you're not trying to get back on your feet or whatever, but yes, I could, you know what I'm saying? Take care of the bill. Because like if I'm really in love with you while you up and then you come down, why would I just leave? You gonna okay, we gonna we gonna do this so we can get you back to the top so we can get back to the top. That, that, that ugly and then That's the best thing be you said all night, yeah, yeah. No, I ain't gonna I lie. You said a lot of stuff, but said, you snapped right there, and that was the best shit, thing like, you I'm actually said all real night. Shit, like real bitch <laughs> shit, like you get what I'm saying? Like you can't just leave a nigga for what, like. But I'm young, so it's like, if a nigga older than me, 10 years older than me, trying to fuck with me, you should have your shit together. Facts. I don't Facts. Give a fuck. Facts. I'm still Facts. trying to get it too, so what? We both gonna be broke? Right. Nothing for nothing leaves nothing. So you're basically saying that he has to have his shit together, but you don't. Hello. Well, how the hell that town? This is that bullshit we talking about. Once and foremost, first and foremost, why the hell are you requesting why the hell are you demanding a lifestyle that you can't goddamn give yourself? Why the hell do I gotta buy the goddamn motherfucking roof, Chris, when your ass go to Applebee's two for 20 on the normal? Because if you not doing it, who is? Them? That's what the book, you, nigga, you no, are not doing No, 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 you wanna be fucking grow, me while I'm laying on- Grow the hell up, that pussy ain't worth that goddamn much. Everybody got one. How about you take care of you? Or wait. go back to your apartment. Oh wait, you 40. So you fucking with a 20 year old. What do you expect? Like if you fucking with a 20 year old, what do you expect? Exactly. I don't know how old she is, but then you be an adult and date a bitch your age. Facts. Facts. These young girls with no kids alone. Facts. <laughs> you know what? She triggered. She triggered. I mean, I don't she have triggered kids. for sure. Oh, mm -mm. 
them young hoes. I got they, a hey, hold on, hold on. Suit in my baby. Them young hoes, them that, that, that cat be snapping. Yeah, 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 you not trying to go so then pay for it. Pay, pay what the where they lack. She's saying that she ain't got it at twenty and you forty one. Then pay for it. it Why would I, I was not at twenty. I am not where I'm at now at thirty three. I am not. Why would I do that? Facts. I'm around all these other rich niggas. Facts. Facts. Check me out. What? What? See. And and this these are the things I'm talking about, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> get, to, get it right, gentlemen. Get it right. If a woman thinks that your main value is financial freedom, that? if that the, if that's the thing that she's focused on is what's in your bank account, she's not the type of woman that you need in your life anyway. Because right. quite frankly, queen, hold on, hold on, quick. Quite frankly, right. queen. Quite frankly, queen. Miss Pressure. <laughs> um. Yes, I am financially stable. But that is, that is a fraction of what I could bring to someone like yourself's life. Because the knowledge that that 41-year-old or that old nigga has is priceless. The game that that 41 or that old nigga has is priceless. That's true. The network, that's not, the rooms that you can be in dealing with that older man are priceless. You fuck around and stay with a nigga for a day and meet more connections than you've made in your whole lifetime fucking with the right nigga. So if you are only thinking of the immediate money, you're not seeing the back end, baby. That, that little 300 that you was later. asking him for could have been 300,000 if you would have stayed the fuck down. Cause you gonna fuck around and goddamn come with me and, and guess what? You come with me and you meet Eve and Eve got a whole goddamn 20,000 square foot building and we put together a whole goddamn stripathon for all your little friends and you done made 150,000 in one weekend like I did when I went to her building. But guess what? If you're not in the room, you're not gonna be in the room. Yeah, 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 yeah. But she's not so obligated. So do not, so do, not. Her, do not let yourself jump over dollars trying to pick up a goddamn penny because it's shiny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You letting three hundred dollars keep you from three hundred thousand, Queen. Don't be basic. Be smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Cause I got more to offer than some goddamn paper. That's light. That's light. We make that shit. They literally print that shit every day. Every day. They print that shit every day. But relationships. Priceless, yep. knowledge, priceless, game, right. priceless, Love. networking, priceless. What the Definitely. people that you can learn and meet will, 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 will feed you and your family for a lifetime. The same men that I make money with today, I knew them niggas 15 years ago and we was all on our dick. Mm. But the fact that we had a solid relationship mm -hmm. and through time nope. of manicuring that relationship, we still make money today, but guess what? Yeah, 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 you be in my little cute little PYT, you get to skip that 15 years of hardship. You get to skip that 15 years of headache. You get to skip the 15 years that I was homeless. And your ass is already in the room because I like your goddamn outfit and your ass, you know what I'm saying, your ass is thick. Yeah, 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 that ugly That's all I'm saying. Do not think that the biggest thing we bring to the table is paper. If you thinking that the biggest thing a nigga got is paper, then you do not understand what a man is. I don't care if you talking about what a nigga got. Hold on, hey, let me get on that. You want all this shit and you want some more shit and some more shit, go get it. If you really about your business and you want to be this uh, boss, everybody love to be boss and queen and da 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 da. Go get you some money and go get you some paper. Stop pocket watching. Stop feeling entitled because a nigga gave because you gave a nigga some pussy. If you want your business, if you want your shit to thrive, stop looking for somebody else to get it because quite frankly, you would have it if you knew how to do it. So uh, obviously, you don't have the knowledge, connections, or the resources to have so that thing which you're chasing with right now. I don't have the knowledge, the resources. Sources huh? or the money. That's why I don't fuck with him. If you don't I understand have what? it, I, no, no, I, I feel what you're saying. It's got to make sense. It got to make sense. There's people around me that could do it, especially being an exotic dancer. It's just like it, I do have more opportunities yeah. than to just focus on one person. I'm not saying he's not shit. Yes, the, knowing him, he's a great person. Shout out to him because he's a great fucking person. Swear to God, he is. Because yeah, he pay you. That's why he's great. <laughs> he pay you, so he's great. Don't do that. Because if he is. wasn't paying you, he wouldn't be shitting. You wouldn't have time. No, Miss me with this person, great person shit and be honest. Person. It's some transactional shit. Shout out to Zion Williams. Y'all want to talk all about, about love, love. He's a great person. 
But if he don't come with that bag, you are not tapping in with him. He got one, maybe two times to come without no money, and you're going to be like, nigga, that great went to God, not good enough. So you need to stop pump faking and act like this is not, oh, he's great. Like, you're supposed to enter a relationship. You're supposed to enter a relationship with the goal of coming up together. You get what I'm saying? Together. But we also not going to, you know what I'm saying, make a woman feel obligated to stay down with a nigga when he's broke. Like, that's her own prerogative. That's her preference. So why y'all feel obligated to a nigga shit? I well, should be obligated. Well, nigga shit, then that's the no, that's the part we confused about. I, nobody should come into a relationship, hold on, bro. Hold on, man, hold on, I'm sorry. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I can't stop. I'm triggered. You say that we should not be obligated. You should not be obligated to stay with us when we're broke. But your ass broke in hell. How the hell that makes sense? So I can stay with your broke ass, but you can't go through no hardship with me? You can't go through no tough time with me? You expect me to always be up with your ass eating McDonald's and goddamn Wendy's 4 for 4 every goddamn day? I saved the best bullshit. That's bullshit. Don't introduce me to a vibe that you can't keep. Don't introduce me to a vibe that you can't keep. Yeah, you, that's different. That's I different to me. I, so I can't have hard times. I can't go through nothing. But you got, but you not up. But you, you know what? How about if you be an adult and a, and, and a down ass chick and a strong independent black woman that y'all claim that y'all be and you motherfucking help a nigga get the fuck back up. There's nothing wrong with that. Talk exactly. about it. Not really not. I'm always the type to lift my nigga up. Right. Like, yo, this is exactly. what I know your specialty yeah. is. Well, with your shit, you gonna learn how to make some money out of this. I got two minds, y'all. But the problem is, I think the narrative that the women who do stay down and do do what they, they supposed to, over. they get fucked First over. Exactly. Yeah. That part. Exactly. exactly. A lot of them do. Oh, Let's talk that. about it. Exactly. 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 So after that time is up, it's like, okay, I'm ready to act wild now. Like, she ready to go real. outside. I'm ready to act up. She said act bad. We all playing act that song. I see I'm ready now. I done did that. I so Miss Pressure, I like that. I like I that. I did so, that already. So, so you, you, you have self-proclaimed that you are outside and you ready to act bad. Yes, because so, I've stayed I, down I for a long time. And I respect already. that. I respect that. So when you do finally deal with a guy, <laughs> is he wrong? For wanting that pussy on the first night since you acting bad and outside. I want some money on the first night. I mean, well, yeah, I bet they should be real honest. I, 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 have a, I have a problem yeah, with how about no I, I, have a, I have a problem. I have a problem. One at a time. I have a problem. I have a problem. How you? Hold on. Let let pressure finish. Let pressure finish. How much? Finish. Hold on. Let let pressure finish. Let pressure finish. Fin Go ahead and cook, Queen. Go ahead and cook, Pressure. Go ahead. You said what? So you. So the fact that you're outside and you want to act bad. If I meet you, I don't want to take you out on no date because you outside. I don't want to goddamn have a long conversation with you or text you good morning, Texas, because you want to act bad. I want some cat right now. I want some motherfucking money right now. Okay. That, that, that ugly money. Don't worry about all that. Okay. Don't worry about all that. Cool. Just know I want some money. So skip the good morning text. Skip the goddamn date. Skip on. the goddamn lunch. If no, that's, that's what, what you're on. on. You said you ready to act bad and be outside. So if obviously, so it. don't ask me. Don't. So you, you're telling me that you don't want me to act like a protector and a provider and a boyfriend or a guy that actually genuinely likes you. I should just go with a transactional purpose. All right, cool. Transaction I'm on this goddamn what dick. No, you're not, because you said you're ready to act bad and you want to go outside. You ain't on what I'm on. I'm 41 years old. I'm ready to get mad in the next three years. You ain't on what I'm on. But I, but, but you, you that's the only option like you're giving me. I'm going to approach it like that if you approach it like that. You, you just said that you want to go outside and act bad. Now, don't try to be a housewife. Do. You I'm doing what I want to do. You want to be a hoe or a housewife. Pick one. You can't be I'm, both I'm at the actually, same time. I'm actually a wifey material. I've actually been that for a long ass time since high school. Yourself. And I'm tired of that shit now. Okay. I, oh I respect it. And I respect it. What I'm saying like, let's is. Let's be real. I've been held I got down you. in relationships exactly. since so, I got out of high school. And since the fact that you don't want to be that wifey material type chick anymore and you're tired. When, I get ready. when a man treats you like a hoe, are you gonna have an issue with it and are you gonna drop that shit like it's hot? I'm not gonna have a problem with it if that's what I'm on, that's what I'm on. I respect it's your hard. honesty. But I, don't like I respect your honesty. I don't fuck everybody. I respect it. I don't, I wouldn't think so. Shit. Hopefully you don't. I respect it. <laughs> we understand I respect that. your honesty. That's why these niggas always wanna wipe I, a bitch up. <clears throat> 
Okay. I respect your honesty. As long as, hey, man, if you want to give 304 energy, as long as you, you accept everything that come with it, nigga, hey, it is what it is. Well, my problem is, is the ones that have 304 energy, but I want a nigga to treat them like a wifey. Nigga, why the fuck is we dating then? That's very if, you're not e if you're not even on that, why am I dating you? Why am I texting you good morning, Texas? Why am I taking you out? Why are we going and having long conversations and things of that nature? Why are we trying to get to know each other? No, I should be trying to get to know your goddamn cat. Because <laughs> that's all you really offering really me. Offer at the end of the day. Because besides that, you need to get a grant and a loan, all this investment <laughs> shit you're talking about. You want to be this, that, and the third. You need some investments, then get a grant and a loan. Oh, man, this has been an amazing episode, man. Hey, man. And I work hard, too, this so I has, everything. This has been Ugly Money Podcast Trigger Alert, man. We're going to take a chance and opportunity to go back around the building, back around the room for everybody to let the folks know where to follow you at. Let them know where they can find you at. Let them know what you got going on. We'll start with you, Miss Eve. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Eve. Catch me on IG. At E-V-E Smith 718. All righty, Miss Tia. It's your girl, Tia Live. You can uh, follow me on Instagram at Tia Scott, S-C-O-T-T, Live, L-I-V-E. What's up, Empress? Uh, you can uh, catch me on Instagram, official Empress Mimi underscore. That's M I M I underscore. Uh, yeah, new music on the way. <laughs> that, that, that ugly money. Pressure. So, yes, my name is Pressure, spelled like P R E S H R, capitalized, spelled out on Instagram. And um, you can stay tuned for the Put It On the Flow remix. Bye bye, though. Hey. Mr. Just Chill. Yes, yes, your boy B is Just Chill. One half a trigger alert. You can follow me, B I Z Z Just Chill, on all platforms. B I Z Z Just Chill, one word, no spaces, none of that. Appreciate all of y'all. What's up? It's your girl, Michelle Bombshell. Follow me on IG at Michelle, M I C H E L Bombshell, your favorite makeup artist. And you can follow me at Ugly Money Nietzsche. That's Ugly Money N I C H E. This episode is being brought to you by Engorge Rejuvenation Tea, promoting erections, improving stamina, size, endurance, and libido. Make sure you go to engorge.com. That's E N G O R G.com to get yours today. All natural male supplement. Get, get, get ugly so when you find a girl that wants to be outside, <laughs> if she want to act bad, get you some Engorge Rejuvenation Tea and break a fucking back. Get, get, get ugly yours today. Remember, the bigger the dream, the bigger the risk, the bigger the payoff. This has been the Ugly Money Trigger Alert. My studio audience makes some noise. Yeah, Thank you so much. Thank you, 2131. Appreciate you, Shaw. Chef Shaw. Good, good. Uh, and we're 